now during midday with Joe on W O C A. It's time for all your questions, so listen in for your answers on Ask Big Joe. All right, it's time for Midday with Joe. Today it's called Ask Big Joe because that's what it's about. It's about you asking Joe some questions. And uh, you are invited to ask your questions by sending them to Robin because then Robin will print them up and hand them to me. It's, it's, it's like an assembly line here. And then I'll ask yeah. the questions and Joe will answer them. So uh, send them to Robin at WOCA.com and she will be uh, happy to print them up. And we have a few of those today, Joe. So... Oh, don't forget that in the subject line, you put Ask Big Joe. Yes, you are re awesome. ready for your questions? I'm ready for my questions today. Let's, let's see what you can do here. All right. I have um, a question here, number one. Number one. Dear yeah. Big Joe, if yes. corn oil corn oil is made from corn yes. and vegetable oil vegetable. is made from vegetables, yes. what is baby oil made from? Baby oil is made from the sweat glands. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody being silly with you. That's right. It's, it's made from the sweat glands from babies. This one doesn't say Dear Big Joe. It says, Hi, Joe. Uh, hi, Joe. <laughs> How many points is uh -oh. a safety in football? Oh, safety. Ha, ha, ha. Hmm. Trying to trick you, I think. I, I think, think so. so. Yeah, it's, 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 mm, I'm not sure. Let's see. A safety in football. I have to think about that one. Let me say uh, two points. <laughs> I'll go with two points, safety in football. Mm -hmm. And safeties are the least common method of scoring are they? in American football. Yep, yep. I didn't know that. They're not a rare occurrence, though, you know. Oh. I think since 1932. I think, yeah, 1932, a safety has occurred every once, every 14.3 games in the National Football League. That's wow. otherwise known as the NFL. Like a Google. Oh, okay. I tell you what. You're amazing. You're like Good a morning. Google. Wow. wow. Uh, sometimes the brain works, you know. Uh, same person asked the oh, second question. Uh -huh. Oh, Joe, how many points in a field goal in football? Oh, I like an easy one. Field goal is three points. That one I knew. <laughs> that one I knew. Yeah, three points. Yeah, field goal, yeah. Uh, it could be called a fair kick, but it's uh, extremely rare, you know. So it's, it's called a field goal. It's only worth three points, as opposed <laughs> to six points, which is a regular goal, you know. <laughs> mm. Dear Big Joe. Uh, yes? Um, which country's first ever home football international was played at the race course ground in 1877? One more time. Dear Big Joe. I heard that part. <laughs> which country's first ever Home Football International was played at the race course ground in 1877. It does have a hint here. It says blue. Blue and great. <laughs> you're saying Kentucky? You're saying... Uh, <laughs> we're, we're looking for a name of a country. The USA. But it's not. It's It was uh, Canada. Uh, but blue and gray. It's okay. in Kentucky. It's played in Kentucky. Well, I thought it was USA, but then I was going, nah, it's too easy. <laughs> no, no, we're, we're going to go with Canada. I think it says Prince of somewhere here. Prince of. Prince, Prince of. Charles is Prince of. England? <laughs> no. Prince of. Prince, Prince of Wales. Wales, there oh, you go. <laughs> okay. Okay, there you go. I say. Dear Big Joe. Yeah, I'll, 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 I'll try to do the best I can with what I've got to use, but sometimes I don't have much to use at all. So. It dear, hurts my head, you know. Dear Big Joe, if money doesn't grow on trees, why do banks have branches? <laughs> because the money flows like a river. <laughs> so the branches are the branches of the river, not the tree. <laughs> you silly. The big Joe, are yes. any superstitions real? Only if you get hurt after you walk under a ladder or step on a cat, cat <laughs> or step on a crack. And if you if you get a, a crack and then you sprain your ankle, then it works. If it doesn't, eh. -heh. Oh, of gosh. course, never open an umbrella inside because you're going to get in the light bulb or something and electrocute yourself. Oh, yeah, that's not fun. <laughs> Dear Big Joe. Yes? If the number two pencil is the most popular pencil... It is. Why isn't it number one? Because two tries harder. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's softer. It's softer. It's softer, yes. Dear Big Joe, yes. in inches... I beg your pardon. <laughs> In inches. <laughs> How big is the diameter? Woo! <laughs> Woo! A 
of a basketball hoop. Oh, uh, oh. 14. 14. I think it's 14. All right. Know. Is it right? The ball is 10, I so I think it's 14. I don't have the answer for that one. I don't have bad answer. I think it's 14. Wow. <laughs> well, the ball is 10, so I would, you know. Could be 60. I don't know. Call in. Let me know. Uh, yeah, somebody, somebody call in. We need a, a lifeline on that one. Or text me on that one. I think it's 14. I don't know. It's 14 came to mind. I don't Dear know. Big Joe, how come they don't sell mouse-flavored cat food? Ooh. They do. They do? Yes. Yeah. They do. Ca- <laughs> yeah. Oh, my. Mouse-flavored cat food. Yeah. yeah. Why, why is it flavored? Why don't they just put mice in the can? <laughs> it's, you know how hard it is to catch mice. <laughs> no. When usually, well, usually the mice they use and they they feed the 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 uh, pythons. So you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the big snakes. Dear Big Joe. Matter of fact, I just met someone last last week that raises mice just to do that. Dear really? Big Joe, what would you money. what would you yell wow. at the president if somebody threw a chicken at him? <laughs> duck, <laughs> duck, <laughs> duck for the chicken. <laughs> Mr. President, uh, there, there, uh, I'm going to go off, off off key here a little bit. Okay, but I am so ticked off at the media and anybody else that says Trump is no good, or Trump is good, or Trump doesn't do this, or Trump doesn't do that. It should be President Trump. Ah, that's it. Okay, there you go. the whole family's Trump. Yeah, right, right. They should say President Trump. Right. right. Even if they don't like him, respect. There you go. There okay. you are. I'm I done. like that. There you go. So you, you throw a chicken at the president. You say, President. President Trump, duck. <laughs> <laughs> but you got to say it really fast. <laughs> well, the rumor is people are saying Donald Duck. Oh, my gosh. That's the rumor I heard. Oh, that's horrible. Donald Duck. I look there. That's President Donald to you. <laughs> <laughs> president Donald Duck. That's crazy. That's a funny one. Uh, <laughs> Dear Big Joe, why does Goofy stand erect? While Pluto remains on all fours, <laughs> they're both dogs. <laughs> That's true. They're both dogs. Well, one with the night school, one with the day school, I guess. <laughs> I thought Goofy was like a cow or something. No, no. Goofy, Goofy's, Goofy's a, a dog. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Pluto's, Pluto's the one that stands up. And no, Goofy, Pluto's on, he's on all fours. Pluto's right? on all fours? Yeah. Goofy's. Well, I went to Disney the other day and Pluto was standing up, so I don't know here. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Maybe, maybe he was uh, doing a trick. Maybe. Could be, yeah. <laughs> Waiting for cookies. He's been, he's been trained. <laughs> hey, Pluto? Yes. Dear Big Joe, my yeah. wife says I Uh-oh. should be working harder so I could be a VIP. I tried to explain to her I don't want to be assassinated. She says, what are you talking about? I tried to explain that important people are assassinated, unimportant people are murdered. Is them true? Is them true? Is them true? That's what it says. Is them true? Is them true? Is them true? Is them true? Well, I'll tell you. I'll tell you right here. Is them true now? Uh, either way, you go to be dust to dust and ashes to ashes. You know, either way. So if you feel very important, you could be uh, assassinated. If you don't feel important, you get murdered. But either way, either way you're going to be dust to dust. Uh, you're, ha- you're going to die from lead poisoning. Dear Big Joe, my wife and I have a bulldog and a shih tzu. We want to mate them, but we don't know what we'll call the offspring. Oh, my God. I know what you call it. You're going to call it Bush Well, and we're going <laughs> to... Or if it's a male, it's the other way around. It's Shabu. Shabu, Shabu. Diddly, diddly, diddly. Dear Big Joe, is yes. it still skinny dipping if the person swimming is fat? Yeah, Ooh. but that's called whale watching. <laughs> Ooh. Called whale watching. Uh, yes. Uh, Joe, how do you remove a club soda stain? <laughs> <laughs> With baking soda. There you go. You use club soda to remove stains. They're they're trying to give you a quick. Yeah, they're trying a trick to trick question. Yeah, I yeah. think. <laughs> Yeah, but Joe, why do they? Yes. Why do they call it getting your dog fixed when afterwards it doesn't work anymore? <laughs> <laughs> because when you say it, you go, I'm, "Whoa, look at you!" Because <laughs> <laughs> you look at the dog, I'm going to fix your. Mm. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, "Fifi, no more fifi <laughs> for you." All you can do is pee pee. <laughs> That's cruel. <laughs> yeah, but Joe, why do we scrub down and wash up? Would you have you ever seen water go up? <laughs> no. Down, wash up. That's right. You see water go up, you wash up. You scrub down. Start from the top, work your way down. You never start with your toes and wash, do you? That's right. That's right. <laughs> it's like you wash your car. Start from the roof down because everything flows down and rinses easy. You scrub down. You scrub down, yeah. Yeah. 
Dear Big Joe, can I patent my idea of getting people to stop crying by asking them to go swimming? Oh. <laughs> no, you're a fool. <laughs> <laughs> patent my idea. You know, you're a fool. <laughs> tear ducks. Uh, dear Donald. Big Joe. Yes, tear ducks. Are dear called Big Joe. Donald, yeah. Why does my gynecologist leave the room when I undress? That is a go. good question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's, he's checking. He's checking on the other patient while you're while you're getting ready for it. <laughs> Peekaboo! Oh, these are some good ones. Huh? <laughs> I love that one. That's a good question. Big old one. That's, he sees why, all the other why do, parts. Why do you sterilize, sterilize needles for lethal injections? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. There that you go. too. That's a good question. Did yes. Big Joe? What type of ball was basketball played with until 1929? I'm. Oh, it was a, uh, uh, a, do- a dodgeball. <laughs> was it a grapefruit? No. <laughs> yeah, that one. That one bounced very much. <laughs> no. I don't know. Yeah. A no, dodgeball. Dodgeball. Dodge ball. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yes, I bet you're right. Dear Big Joe, I want to be one of the Harlem Globetrotters. How okay. hard is it to get into that team? It depends if you've been if you if you've been around the world a couple of times, then you probably could <laughs> could apply for it. We've had a few of them on our show. Yeah, yeah, we have. Yeah, have yeah, I, I see them, and they still use the same routine from way back when. They're still using it. Yeah, Isn't that amazing. It is amazing. Yeah. New players, but it's amazing. Oh yeah, I remember. It's it. amazing. Mellow, mellow something or another was it? What lemon, 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 mellow, mellow lemon. Lemon. Uh, oh, what was the name? Lemon. Uh, Meadow lark lemon. Meadow lark lemon. Lemon. Yeah. 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 Dear Big Joe, yes. why does mineral water mm-hmm. that has trickled through mountains for centuries mm-hmm. go out of date next year? <laughs> because they capture, they cannot capture the essence of mineral, mineral water. That's what it is. It's a, it went stale. What do you want? <laughs> Dear Big Joe, do I own my property all the way down to the center of the earth? No. <laughs> if you look at some states, you do not own the mineral rights to some properties in some states. Mm-hmm. Wow. In some states you do. So find out if, if when you buy your land, if that is in, in the, indeed, in, in, in the uh, deed. Ha <laughs> ha, indeed in the deed. That's a good thing to think, to remember. I it's true. It's some people say, oh, I found gold on my land. Well, give it to us. But nope. <laughs> Sorry. Of course, all I ever find is dirt. Yeah. Or in, in Florida, dirt and sand. Yeah. Dear Big Joe, how many eggs are in an egg roll? Egg in an egg roll? That's easy. How many? None. None. <laughs> 30 seconds. The egg in an egg roll, that's none, yes. If you like egg rolls. But you ever tried an egg roll? It's I never, messy. I've never seen it. Oh, I didn't have the it. camera on you. Now I got the I camera. Like sorry. Oh, well, it's I messed right. up. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is AM Ocala Live every day, Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. till noon with Larry and Robin, your host. Listen every day. Pass the word along. And we are 24 hours a day just for you. W O C A Ocala. Fox News. I'm Chris Foster. President Trump has lunch with Senate Republicans at the Capitol today, then meets again with the top Republicans and Democrats in Congress at the White House about border wall funding and the partial government shutdown over it. Top Senate Democrat Chuck Schumer says the president's address last night did nothing to convince any of his members. That this government shutdown is anything but a manufactured crisis of the president's own making. Top Senate Republican Mitch McConnell says Democrats used to be fine with border fencing. The only thing that has changed between then and now is the occupant of the White House. The shutdown's now in its 19th day. The richest person in the world, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos and his wife Mackenzie are getting a divorce. They call the split amicable and say they will continue as friends. The couple married in 1993, the same year Bezos decided to start his online bookstore, which became what Amazon is today. They have four children. Fox is Tanya J. Powers. This is Fox News. Never saw it as a problem when I was younger. Two cigarettes, three cigarettes. It wasn't it wasn't a habit. My mom, she was always like, you need to get rid of them. Gave the jewel a real chance and found that I liked it. Found that it really works. The switch was easy. It was a no-brainer really. This came from her, really. 
Patrick made the switch December 2016. Make the switch at JUUL.com. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. At Stiefel, we believe investment advice is about more than helping you manage your wealth. Our investment advice is about you. It's about providing your kids with opportunities for a head start in life, feeling secure in your retirement, and realizing your dreams just may become a reality because you have a plan. We believe in you. Your path to investment advice starts with your Stiefel Financial Advisor. Find your new Stiefel Financial Advisor at Stiefel.com. That's S-T-I-F-E-L. Stiefel Nicholas and Company Incorporated, member SIPC and NYSE. Here is your one-minute news brief. It's official. Ocala will celebrate her 150th birthday on February 4th. Ocala Mayor Kent Gwynn, City Manager John Zobler, and the Ocala City Council have decided that Ocala was officially incorporated on February 4th, 1869. There will be a celebration each month to mark the sesquicentennial year. A Miami police officer has crashed into a storage facility while apparently attempting to avoid another vehicle. The parents of a Florida teenager killed when a Tesla sedan crashed and caught fire last year are suing the electric car company, alleging that the battery pack on its electric Model S is defective. With Florida's new governor taking office, some parents of students killed in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School massacre are pushing for Ron DeSantis to remove Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel. An asteroid circling spacecraft has captured a cool photo of Earth from 70 million miles away. We look like a white dot. And Florida's Space Coast has made CNN Travel's list of top places to visit in 2019. And that is your news brief from The Source. W-O-C-A, putting the local back into radio. Announcing Gemma Adams in concert, we'd like to invite you to an awesome dual concert Friday, January the 11th at Christ Church of Marion, 6768 Southwest 80th Street. RSVP is required for dinner, served at 5.15 p.m., and the concert will start promptly at 6.30 p.m. Backwater Bluegrass will open up, followed by hit recording artist Gemma Adams. Jesus loves you, don't matter if you lost or found, if you're rising, if you're falling, Gemma Adams, singer, songwriter, and musician with two hit songs on three different charts. A large crowd is expected, so make reservations now at 352-861-6182. Every sinner has a future, every angel has a past. W-O-C-A. PPIR is a networking group formed to serve the realtor and small business community. It primarily serves the real estate and construction industry, but is open to all businesses that provide any service or product to the real estate business community. PPIR has no membership dues or fees for attendees. The watchwords are keep it simple and maximize networking time. PPIR chapters meet three times monthly at different locations after normal business hours. For information on this, call 352-615-9412 or go to events at PPIRevents.com. PPIR, professional people in real estate. Tired of looking at stained carpets, dirty tile, or grout? Call Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. Make your flooring look great again. Stains, pet odors, allergies. Call Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. From serving our country to serving our community. Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. Residential and commercial. Their work is guaranteed along with your satisfaction. Check their website, silverbackrestoration.com. TikTok. The days fly by and refined tax season is upon us once again. Not to worry, though. With a reputable CPA firm on your side, you can rest assured that all of your needs will be handled in a professional and thorough manner. Robson, Scribner, and Stewart is just that firm. They're there for their clients year-round, not just during tax season, to handle your needs and answer any questions you may encounter. At Robson, Scribner, and Stewart, there is no client too small or too large. Their expertise ranges from the single individual to the largest of corporations. Get your return prepared by a professional who will use their years of experience to ensure that your tax returns outcome will leave you in the best possible position. Call them today at 694-4184. Robson, Scribner, and Stewart. They're there for you today. Again, that number is 694-4184. Time is of the essence, so don't delay. 694-4184. of entertainment and enlightenment. This 
is the Glenn Beck Program. Today we have every voice that you could possibly want to hear from uh, about the president's speech. We have Eric Bowling, we have Steve Dace, we have uh, Andrew Wilkow, Ben Ferguson, John Miller, Stephen Kent, Matt Kibbe. Uh, Pat is coming up in a second. I mean, it, we are going to be covering the president's speech and the Democratic response from all sides of the conservative movement. And we have Tito, Marlin, and Germain coming up as Yeah, well. Michael is still he's sketchy. On the sketchy. <laughs> yeah, he's on a, uh, Eric Bowling. We begin with him in one minute. This is the Glenn Beck Program. I'm anxious to hear his uh, his. Uh, look at things because uh, he has inside information and I, I can't wait to compare his notes with some of the things that are being said in the press today. All right, we're going to stop for one minute. Uh, we have in this uh, last uh, uh, last few weeks, we have changed the show. So we are only away at a commercial break for about a minute at a time in the first half hour of every hour of this program. So we've cut back on the commercials so we can spend more time on content with you. Let me tell you, our sponsor right now is LifeLock. LifeLock. Top cybersecurity predictions for 2019. Ransomware is going to taper off. It's still going to wreak havoc. But crypto jacking and other money-making schemes are going to increase. Government regulation uh, and public sentiment on privacy is going to drive stronger data protection policies. I don't even know how you even protect. I, I, I'll tell you this. Too many things to worry about. Too many things to worry about. Th- this is the only thing that you really need to know. LifeLock.com has come into its time. I remember when I was like, I would give you my social security number. And I'm like, well, who's going to use a social security number? Remember that when it first oh, came yeah. out? Yeah. Um, now it is the time. You have to have LifeLock. Get LifeLock now. Protect yourself. Protect your identity. Protect your uh, protect your life, really. LifeLock. Use the promo code BECK and you're going to receive, I think it's 10% off. I don't, I don't remember the deal. Yeah, it's 10% off your first year. Promo code BECK, extra 10% off at lifelock.com. That's lifelock.com. Pause for 10 seconds here. So last night, uh, the president gave a speech from the Oval Office behind the Resolute Desk. The first time he has uh, addressed the nation uh, from that, he did a, I thought, a really good job, really solid speech. Then Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, which looked like something that, I I don't know, came from South Park, um, quite honestly. Um, They responded. But I want to get with Eric Bowling, who... Uh, has uh, deep relationships at the White House and possibly can give us some insight on this uh, and uh, get his opinion on on the speech and its effectiveness. Welcome to the program, Eric Bowling. Hey, Glenn. Thanks for having me back. You bet. Uh, I'm, I'm, sit- I'm sitting at the uh, the Trump Hotel bar last night, uh, as I do every Tuesday and Wednesday for the show, um, and they, they, they lower the music, and what's typically on the screens is one CNN, one Fox, one Fox Business, one ESPN. They lower the volume on everything and they play the speech full volume in the whole Trump lobby. Uh, a lot of supporters here. And, and you know, it was, it was a few minutes. I think he was making his case for what could be, you know, his de- declaration of a national emergency to get to get some of the wall funding. So, I, look, he, he's I, I think he's being told he's being advised by Kellyanne and Shine and Sarah Sanders. And it is kind of a team advisory panel. Um, about what to do with this. I, I, I understand he didn't want to do the speech, and I understand he didn't really necessarily want to go to, to the Texas border. He f- feels those are a little bit more, um, I don't know, photo op-ish than, than, than any substantive action. But he's, he's, he's tra- entrenched. He's dug in. He's not going to give up without a fight. So, to, so tell me, Eric, the, the story that... He had lunch with all of the anchors, and he said, you know, this is a photo op, and I really didn't want to do it. It's not going to make a difference. I, is that story true, then? Well, I mean, I, I, I would think it is. I, mean, I, I read it as you did, and, you know, when you have a, a room full of journalists, an off-the-record um, comments tend to become uh, leaked. And, and so I, I guess it would be true, but, uh, you know, I, t- I tend to agree with them. It, it, I don't think last night necessarily moved the needle. I think Trump's base 
people who have supported him from the beginning want to see a wall built and want right. to see him threaten to shut or continue to shut down the government until they get funding for the wall. And the, and the, and the people who didn't vote for him or don't like him, liberals or, or anti-Trumpers or whom, whomever, didn't come to his side by watching that, nor did they become any more emboldened by watching Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer really look ridiculous. <laughs> oh, that was that was weird. It was just the weird. Going around of, of, of comparisons, you know, of, to what they look like. It is it, it is actually hysterical. Let me just throw one thing at you, Glenn. Um, 2019 request for foreign aid budget. Twenty seven point seven billion dollars. That includes three billion for Israel, you know, a billion for Jordan. You know, people like me and maybe libertarians like you would say, well, if we're willing to spend almost thirty billion dollars handing out money mm-hmm. to foreign countries, is is five billion dollars whether you think it's effective or not, is five billion dollars really a big deal to, to protect our southern border, even no. if half or a third of the country believes it needs to happen? No. It's it's really not. This is a ridiculous. Uh, I think this is a ridiculous argument, and it's coming uh, at a. I, I think a uh, a ridiculous time. Um, the time to fight this was, you know, in the first in the first year or two. Now we're sitting here, and everybody's digging in because we're approaching an election. I don't think the Democrats are going to give on this. Um, why, why do you have any idea why we didn't fight for the wall like this yeah. sooner? Yeah. Yeah. Cause you had, you had Paul Ryan, um, a speaker of the house and, and Paul Ryan was never a pro Trump, never saw things the same. Look, this wall funding, this wall, this wall funding, this whole debate is all political. I mean, we, you and I have both talked about the, how many times Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Obama, Clinton, Feinstein have all been on record on tape saying that they're, they're for stronger borders and stronger immigration policy. This is all about politics. In fact, you know, Schumer is willing to do $25 billion if he got what he wanted in DACA. So this is all BS politicking and, and what my, and Trump is not one of the, he's clearly one of the most hated politicians in D.C. So they're going to they're gonna hold out on their side until, until someone blinks. My guess is that I'm going to just go out and limb and say, I don't think he's, I mean, I don't know that the best route is to declare a national emergency, but find the funding, find $3 billion somewhere. I mean, we have a $4 trillion budget, $3 billion. They, they blink and lose $3 billion yeah, on, no. some, on, on some things. Just find it and, and or find something where, you know, we save $3 billion on the re, you know, renegotiated DAP. And guess what? We found $3 billion and Mexico paid for it, too. Yeah. You know, play one of those gimmicky games that that politicians on both sides of the aisle have played for, you know, 247 years. So and, and then everyone and then we move on and, you know, TSA can come back to work and we can feel safe flying again and all the other stuff. Eric, do you, have you noticed a difference in the media? I'm, I'm struck by when Republicans, quote unquote, shut down the government several years ago over something like Planned Parenthood. Um, the argument was, why don't Republicans just give in on a, you know, a few hundred million or a billion dollars because we have to get this government open? Now that it's yeah. one little thing that the Democrats could easily just give in on and get all the government funded, they, the, 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 the pitch from the press is the exact opposite, that it's the Republicans' fault because they won't give up on their one thing. It, it's a, it's well, fascinating you know, how they reverse but, these but, things. But, yeah, but, but don't forget, when you're on that side, you go, can, can you believe they, they, they won't just give up on this $5 billion? So, so look, I think, and this is this, you know, and, and I'm glad I'm always, I'm a 100% honest person. I think Trump is making a mistake keeping the rest of the government closed. I think what he should do is open the rest, let let uh, you know Homeland Security fight this fight, and and just let the Homeland. Now, honestly, I I know what he's doing. He's using the other agencies, kind of holding them hostage a little bit because a bigger package is harder to fight with. But I, I think open the open the rest, so we don't have eight hundred thousand people who aren't getting paychecks. Maybe we have thirty thousand that aren't getting paychecks for now. And fight the battle, at, you know, at, at the border, mm-hmm. literally where where it should be fought. And you know, it'll it'll he'll uh, relinquish some leverage, but it would be more true, I guess, to me for me for being a base supporter. Um, that's what the fight's really about. Uh, host of America. Uh, on uh, the uh, on Blaze TV every night, uh, Eric Bowling talking to him. W- one last question: Do you think the national emergency talk? Where did that come from? Because everyone was expecting him to declare a national emergency or to threaten the national emergency, and I was just going to do that. Is that off the table? Was that ever on the table. the table? No, no. I think no. I think it's still on the table. In fact, 
you know, a good friend of mine, Jonathan Swan, who's a, who's a reporter for Axios, but also has excellent sources inside the White House. I'll just let you know, I talk to the White House a lot, right? I've called them, emailed them the last few days, and I haven't been, no one's returned my call. I mean, I get emails back saying, hey, sorry, we're really swans. We can't yeah, talk yeah, right yeah. now. So they're, they're keep, keep it very tight lit. But Swan, who's got very good access inside, good sources, says that the national emergency is not off the table. My gut is, based on all the reporting that we've seen in the last you know, 12 hours, that's where Trump wants to go with it. His advisors are probably saying, hold off, let's try, you know, nine o'clock news conference, a uh, nine o'clock present address from the Oval. Let's try going to the border to gain some support. My guess is Trump is still willing to pull that nuclear option if, mm-hmm. if, if need be. And, and again, he, he marches to the beat of his own drummer. They don't mm-hmm. listen to anyone else, but he's probably trying, exhausting all other avenues first. So it, it might happen. I, you know, and I, Glenn, I think it's a mistake to do that. I think he'd be better off opening the rest of the government state and fight the border battle at the border yeah. with, the, with the DHS. Couldn't agree with you more. Eric, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Eric Bowling. Uh, you can hear his opinion and all of, all of the background. He's also hosting uh, the, um, uh, the coverage for Blaze TV on uh, State of the Union. Mm-hmm. So you don't want to miss it. You're going to hear today Eric Bowling, Pat Gray, Clavin, uh, Clavin, Andrew Clavin, Steve Dace, Matt Kibbe, uh, uh, Stephen Kent, John Miller. Hope to have Andrew Wilkow and Ben Ferguson on today. All of the voices and more from uh, Blaze, and you can get that at blazetv.com slash Beck. Sign up now. Use the promo code Beck for that <laughs> discount, by the way. Okay. All right, our sponsor this half hour is Relief Factor. Uh, Relief Factor really has changed my life. Relief Factor is something and I my- take... And my life as well. What? It's changed your life and my life. You don't take it. I know. You take it and you're less irritable. <clears throat> and that's changed my life. So thank you, Relief Factor. You know, I don't know if my irritability is always caused by pain. <laughs> it could be caused by pain in other parts. Uh, anyway, 100% drug-free, created by doctors, four key ingredients that reduce inflammation. You know, you're, uh, we were just looking at the charts of the death by opioids. It is, it dwarfs HIV, gun deaths, uh, car crashes when they were all at their peaks. The crack epidemic of the 80s. Yeah. Dwarfs it. Dwarfs it. It's, yeah. there's no, there's never been anything like this. Please try to reduce your, your pain the natural way. I didn't. Really, I don't believe in the natural way. I really don't. You know, I, I just don't. I, um, but this works. I didn't take it for years. I knew about it. I didn't take it. I started taking it last year, and I take it every day now, and it really has made a difference in my life. Get your life back. Go to relieffactor.com. Try it for three weeks with a quick start. If it doesn't work, you're out 20 bucks. But if it does work, you get your life back. And 70% of the people who try the quick start order more month after month after month. It's relieffactor.com. That's relieffactor.com. 10-second break for station ID. This is the Glenn Beck program. What did you think last night, um, Stu, yourself? Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, He, I think, laid out a case that there's a lot of people who didn't know about the border. Um, Some of it, you know, he's he's, you could tell that it wasn't um, uh, it wasn't controversial enough for the media because they like their fact checks are just silly. Like they're they're little side claims. But the main claims he's making about the border are really uh, are true. And I think it was a, it was an effective case. I think he did a good job on it. I know that's not his style. I thought we got, a, I mean, I thought there was a lot out of that Eric Bowling interview. I mean, I, you know, I think Eric is a big supporter saying he should open up the other parts of the government yep. is pretty significant. Um, you know, I think Eric, you know, he didn't have inside information on this, but he thinks the case is it's true that Trump said, basically, I don't even want to do this. It's not, a, you know, it's not, it's the New York times reporting saying that, Hey, this isn't, I don't want to do this. And I, you know, it's not going to be effective. It's not going to move the needle. Um, and that was kind of Eric's take as well. Mm-hmm. I, I don't necessarily I think it's think- interesting that his take that Eric has said that, uh, that Trump, his uh, move is to declare national emergency, which I absolutely buy into that. That is the way he kind of moves. Right. Which is, and, and Big, as Eric said, bold, 
Eric Brash. didn't like it either. Yeah. Uh, I, you know, none, I don't think I haven't heard anything really honestly from the audience or anything of, uh, of people who said, you know what? I really want the border wall and I want it done with a national emergency. I mean, I think all, all the supporters we've talked to have said, I really don't want to do it that way, but yeah. I really want the border wall. And right. that's a totally sensible and you're place not, to be. But the problem is you're not going to get the border wall. This is, this is why Trump was elected. And if, if, this just plays out the typical way. He may have a hard time uh, making a case in 2020 because he should have done this in the first year. That was his that was the the crown jewel. That's what got him elected was the border wall. And for him not to make that the number one priority instead to fall on his sword now when the Democrats, you, the Democrats have control of the House and you know you're not going to get it. You're not going to get it through. The problem is, is that the Republicans and the Democrats, nobody wants to build this border wall. Nobody. Except for the American people. It's interesting, too, because I don't know what the reasoning for him uh, not taking the deal a year ago on the border wall was. Uh, again, DACA. But it was DACA and trade for not just $5 billion of funding, the entire border wall funding. It was going to yeah. fund 30, it was $30 billion or something they were they were going to trade for DACA. And now they're trying to get DACA for just the 5.7. I know. And, uh, I, and it's I, not it, happening. And it kills me that uh, Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi say it's ineffective and expensive at $5 billion when they were the ones that <laughs> offered 30, 30 yeah. billion dollars. That is an interesting point. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, it, it, I mean, they're just obviously nuts. If you saw the thing afterwards, they, it was it, weird minute to minute. It, none of it means anything to these people. No people like Nancy Pelosi and, and Chuck Schumer. And there's plenty of examples on the Republican side that have been entrenched in Washington, Washington for a million years. And they, they all look insane. I, I mean, Nancy, look, again, you could talk about policy, but you have to separate the fact that Nancy Pelosi looks insane every time she's on television. I don't know what surgery she's been doing or how much Botox she's poured into the face. Whatever it is, her eyes are super duper wide. She's got the crazy eye. She's got the Alexandria Casio cortez eyes going on. That's happening. <laughs> it's happening to Nancy. This is your future, Alexandria. If you keep going down this road, your eyes will get crazier and crazier. And the smile and, I mean, just aesthetically, it was a weird moment. You know, Trump... Especially, it looked like it was in a hall to the bathroom, <laughs> didn't it? Yes. It, look, it didn't look like a big stately hallway. It looked like a government hallway that, yeah, your bathroom's down this hall to the left. Right. <laughs> and like I, uh, Eric mentioned all the pictures going around, the comparisons. I mean, they are really funny. Like the, the, the two farmers from that uh, old school painting mm -hmm. um, standing there, they really look similar to them. That, that yeah, a husband and wife team. You're right. It's, it's, You're just, right. What if he, Chuck should have been doing it, holding a pitchfork, yes. and then it would have made a lot of sense. Yes. Uh, but I think, honestly, if you look at the, the speech in and of itself, you read that thing, you read the text of it, I mean, you can quibble with some of the details, but generally speaking, what he's laying out is a case that we have a serious problem with drugs in this country, and there's we have a serious humanitarian problem, problem on the border, border. Um, and it's a problem that no one wants to solve. And it's time we solve it. Right. And I think the American people do engage with that. I, I don't think that the American people, I, you know, I, I, I was a big fan of the way Ross Perot used charts. Yeah. You know, back in the day. I don't know why Oval Office addresses are not produced. You know, mm -hmm. I I would just I would love to go in and help produce just the Oval Office addresses. Just yeah. let me let me help you. Let me help you. Just here's a chalkboard. Here's a chart. Here's something. But if you just would have shown the charts last night, I mean, here's this is from The New York Times. And if you happen to be watching online, I don't know if you can see this because of the brightness. Can you, yeah, can you zoom really. in? Not really. Can you? Um it's an incredible chart. It's an chart. incredible chart mm -hmm. about the deaths of opioids. It is almost a straight line up from, what is that, 2010, 2012, almost straight line up. And he mentioned this last night that more people will die of drug overdoses this year than died in the entire Vietnam, Vietnam War. War. That's stunning. 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 Uh, and it ha it's happening every year and it's happening all over the country. It's, you know, like back in the, uh, the 80s crack epidemic, uh, which was is dwarfed by what's happening with mm -hmm. opioids right now. It's not even close. Mm -hmm. But back then, like, you know, you could make the there. Were, uh, there was a separation, I think, for the American people. It, there was even if you lived in cities, 
it was those it was bad areas of the city it was high crime yeah. areas of cities right right here this is everywhere it's on every street every street there's problems with this it hits every family i mean eric uh, had to deal with this in a major way we're um, all going to deal with this in a major way yeah. we're all going to deal with this it, it is that bad this is you know they say you oh, know the opioid epidemic well they so overuse crisis and epidemic yeah. and everything else that you're like what you know the war on drugs it doesn't mean anything anymore but when you see how this is reaching in to the heart of america and just destroying us this this again bigger than the peak of gun crimes car crashes uh what was the third HIV. one uh, hiv dwarfs those things literally dwarfs them it's it, it's a it's a real problem yeah. america you, you and you look at the number of uh the number of uh deaths and crime and mutilations and beheadings that are happening here in the country from MS-13. That is four times as many people killed by MS-13 in a year than all of the school shootings. Same period of time. What are, what are we doing? Four times as many killed. And nobody's even talking about it. And the way to solve that is getting serious on the border. But nobody is serious about it. So we will continue to get opinion and your opinion. 888-727-BECK on today's broadcast. You're listening to Glenn Beck. All right. Meanwhile, you're busy fighting for your life in business. If you're a small-time uh, business person or if you're running a Fortune 500 company or Fortune 100 company, ZipRecruiter is the way to hire this is the best it's well it's the biggest hiring um or um uh, job seeking website now in the nation by far mm. it started out as uh, as a company that would just help you find the right person well people started to send their resumes into ziprecruiter so now they have both ends and it means with the algorithms that they have floors of people tuning every single day, it means you're going to find a qualified candidate for your job within an hour, and you can try it for free. Please give it a shot. If you are looking for the right person in your business, go to ZipRecruiter.com slash Beck. Try it free. ZipRecruiter.com slash Beck. So if you subscribe to Blaze TV at blazetv.com slash Beck, use the promo code Beck at 10 bucks off. One of the shows you're going to get, Pat Gray Unleash. Pat joins us next. Palm Garden announces Fast Track. Fast Track. Focused assessment, safe transition. When a new guest is admitted to Palm Garden, we start with the ABCs. A is the assessment to determine what the guest needs. B is for basic care, which is excellent nursing and therapy. And C is for consistency to provide what's needed throughout the stay. Fast Track, Palm Garden will get you home fast, really, really fast. Take a fast tour of Palm Garden located at the corner of Southwest 27th Avenue and 34th Street. Veterans Helping Veterans USA. Call 352-433-2320. We help veterans and their families with limited financial assistance, counseling, employment referrals, and a food and clothing bank. You Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Fox News, I'm Chris Foster. President Trump has lunch with Senate Republicans at the Capitol today, then meets again with the top Republicans and Democrats in Congress at the White House about border wall funding and the partial government shutdown over it. Top Senate Democrat Chuck Schumer says the president's address last night did nothing to convince any of his members. That this government shutdown is anything but a manufactured crisis of the president's own making. Top Senate Republican Mitch McConnell says Democrats used to be fine with border fencing. The only thing that has changed between then and now is the occupant of the White House. The shutdown's now in its 19th day. The richest person in the world, Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos and his wife Mackenzie are getting a divorce. They call the split amicable and say they will continue as friends. The couple married in 1993, the same year Bezos decided to start his online bookstore, which became what Amazon is today. They have four children. Fox's Tanya J. Powers. This is Fox News. 
never saw it as a problem when I was younger. Two cigarettes, three cigarettes. It wasn't. It wasn't a habit. My mom, she was always like, you need to get rid of them. Gave the jewel a real chance and found that I liked it. Found that it really works. The switch was easy. It was a no-brainer, really. This came from her, really. Patrick made the switch December 2016. Make the switch at JUUL.com. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. At Stiefel, we believe investment advice is about more than helping you manage your wealth. Our investment advice is about you. It's about providing your kids with opportunities for a head start in life, feeling secure in your retirement, and realizing your dreams just may become a reality because you have a plan. We believe in you. Your path to investment advice starts with your Stiefel Financial Advisor. Find your new Stiefel Financial Advisor at Stiefel.com. That's S-T-I-F-E-L. Stiefel Nicholas and Company Incorporated, member SIPC and NYSE. Here is your one-minute news brief. It's official. Ocala will celebrate her 150th birthday on February 4th. Ocala Mayor Kent Gwynn, City Manager John Zobler, and the Ocala City Council have decided that Ocala was officially incorporated on February 4th, 1869. There will be a celebration each month to mark the sesquicentennial year. A Miami police officer has crashed into a storage facility while apparently attempting to avoid another vehicle. The parents of a Florida teenager killed when a Tesla sedan crashed and caught fire last year are suing the electric car company, alleging that the battery pack on its electric Model S is defective. With Florida's new governor taking office, some parents of students killed in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School massacre are pushing for Ron DeSantis to remove Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel. An asteroid-circling spacecraft has captured a cool photo of Earth from 70 million miles away. We look like a white dot. And Florida's Space Coast has made CNN Travel's list of top places to visit in 2019. And that is your news brief from The Source. Started in 1975, it's Yendel's Building Materials. Whether you're making repairs, adding a room, or building a house, Yendel's constantly delivers excellent service and top quality materials and many of the tools and hardware you need to get the job done. At Yendel's, they take pride in supplying their customers with new and innovative products. Yendel's experience in trust design, manufacturing, and component materials is second to none. 834 North Magnolia Avenue in Ocala, 732-3000. Stop by to experience the difference. A pretty nice day for Wednesday with times of clouds and sunshine. Highs will range from the upper 60s in the northernmost part of the zone to the mid-70s in the south. And clear and quite chilly Wednesday night. Lows in the mid-30s in the coldest inland spots, low 40s at the coast. Thursday will be mostly sunny and cooler. Highs in the upper 50s in the coolest part of the zone to about 64 along the coast to the south. Friday, partly sunny, a little warmer. High 68 to 72. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. PPIR is a networking group formed to serve the realtor and small business community. It primarily serves the real estate and construction industry, but is open to all businesses that provide any service or product to the real estate business community. PPIR has no membership dues or fees for attendees. The watchwords are keep it simple and maximize networking time. PPIR chapters meet three times monthly at different locations after normal business hours. For information on this, call 352-615-9412 or go to events at PPIRevents.com. PPIR, professional people in real estate. Why not serve a delicious, intimate, and very easy dinner from Honey Baked Ham of Ocala? They have about the best ham produced ever and turkey breast or beef pot roast or pork roast. I thought they just served whole or half hams or turkeys that you picked up at Thanksgiving or Christmas. They have so much more. They have a cafe and do all kinds of hot and cold catering. They'll do most of the work while you get all of the credit. Where are they? Southwest 27th Avenue, right behind Best Buy. Give them a call at 861-0011. Customs and Border Protection agents encounter thousands of illegal immigrants trying to enter our country. We don't have the space to hold them. We don't have any way to promptly return people back to their home country. We have always proudly, proudly welcomed millions of lawful immigrants to enrich our society and to contribute to our nation. But everybody is hurt by uncontrolled illegal immigration. It strains public resources, it drives our jobs down, it drives wages down, 
and the hardest hit are African Americans and Hispanic Americans. Our southern border is a pipeline for vast quantities of illegal drugs, including meth and heroin and cocaine and fentanyl. And every single week in this country, 300 Americans die from heroin alone. And 90% of heroin floods across our southern border. More Americans will die from drugs this year than died in the entire Vietnam War. Shouldn't we try to do something different? In the last two years, ICE officers made 266,000 arrests of aliens with criminal records, including those charged or convicted of 100,000 assaults, 30,000 sex crimes, 4,000 violent killings, including beheadings, rape. Over the years, thousands of Americans have been brutally killed by those who have come into our country illegally, and thousands more will lose their life if we don't act. This is a humanitarian crisis. This is a crisis of the heart. This is a crisis of the soul. Everyone loses. That was coming from the president's speech last night. The, those things are accurate. Did they fall on deaf ears all across the country? Do we not care about the real victims here? The victims that are on both sides of the border. When the, when the president spoke about the murders, the illegal alien that came across the border, the life of an American hero, stolen by someone who had, didn't have the right to even be in our country, in California, an Air Force veteran was raped, murdered, and then beaten to death with a hammer. This is not just a veteran This was someone's daughter beaten to death by a hammer in the hands of an illegal alien with a long criminal history. And now the Democrats in California are saying, we're going to welcome everyone in. We want to welcome those people into our country that have a reason to be here and that we want here. And that they want to be here, not to rape and kill us, but to make us better. The president had everything he needed last night. He had all of the facts. He had the story. But I don't think it uh, was effective. He's not a good storyteller. (laughs) But it wasn't effective. But the good news is Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer were worse. Mm. Pat Gray is Mm -hmm. joining us now from uh, Pat Gray Unleashed, which is the podcast you can hear uh, live every day prior to this show on the uh, Blaze Radio Network. Uh, But also you can download the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts. Pat, your thought? I thought the content was great. Uh, Almost perfect. It, but like you said, the the style was not good. That that's not his forte. No, reading from a teleprompter is not what he does best, no. and and everybody knows that. And so I think it kind of diminished the the effectiveness of it. Um, but I think he touched on a lot of the right notes, almost all the right notes. He he talked about um, the suffering of the illeg- illegal aliens themselves, which we should have started that discussion thirty years ago. We, that's the approach we should have made was how this affects them. And then it takes away completely the racist thing. You're a hate monger thing. The xenophobia it, t- talking about how bad this is for the people who are dying on the way here and not doing well once they get here because they're not encouraged well, to you, do well. You can go further than that. You can go further than that. You can. And we have we have I've talked about, look, if I were in their situation 
and I thought America didn't care about the border, I'd be taking my kids across. Absolutely. I would absolutely do that. Because and it's treated just, you know, like a speeding ticket. It's, it's, not, it's right. not much of anything. And look what no California's doing with Newsom. He's, Correct. He's encouraging everybody to come to California. Correct. Mm-hmm. So I would do that if I were in their situation. Mm-hmm. They're being conned. Because they're they're being told you can come here and live like an American. No, you can't. You're going to live in the shadows. You're going to live in fear. Mm -hmm. But beyond that, what has changed is now people are sending just their kids across. That is wildly dangerous for families and kids to do. Wildly dangerous. They're being exploited by the drug lords. We have shown this over and over again. And now the last straw is that the left and those from the open border society are funding these caravans and they are using these desperate people, some of them, not all of them, these desperate people, they're using them and conning them and saying, oh, no, you're going to get in and it's going to be great. They don't care about those people. Not at all. It's despicable what they're doing. And to bring up their past support for the wall, which in some cases was couple of years ago, three years ago, before just before him, they still wanted border security. No, 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 no. I, I, no, we're not going to even allow that to happen. They offered $30 billion. Well, last year. Last yeah. year? Yes. yes. Last year. So yeah. when, when Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer come out and say it's ineffective and expensive and, and immoral, immoral. And immoral, you you sold thirty billion dollars. Uh-huh. You were saying, "I'll take, I'll give you thirty billion dollars for the Dream Act." That needs to be hammered home. And and the Republicans are so ineffective at that. We've talked a million times about how bad the Republicans they are. They don't at want defending the border their wall either. No, it's not their they position. Don't. On this case, it's not their position. But for Nancy Pelosi and Chuck. Schumer to stand there like the American Gothic portrait. Uh, (laughs) The only thing lacking was a pitchfork in Schumer's hand. (laughs) And to tell us that it's immoral and ineffective and a manufactured crisis when here they are the most amoral people to ever hold office. The people who want slaughter of children to continue, not just in this country. They're trying to fund it around the world and they support every degradation known to mankind. Then they say that a wall or a fence is immoral. I, I can't. It's hard to take. It's really hard to take. And uh, I think Republicans need to do a much better job at defending their principles and values. They don't have any principles and values. Now, some of them, most of them don't. That's most true. of them don't. That is true. Some do. Most of them don't. At least the the border wall is not a principle or value that uh, that they or a policy that they believe in. Those who are entrenched in power they don't believe in it. It's why they, it's why uh, Donald Trump didn't do the deal. Yeah, I he didn't know. do the deal, and it's not him. It was the Democratic, or it was sorry, it was the Republican Congress. Well, he didn't want that deal, though. I mean, he he didn't want that deal, and and I I'm not, I don't fault him for that. By the way, DACA for uh, mm-hmm. thirty billion dollars is not what I would say is a great deal. No, but I'd take I it agree. now. I know. I think I'd take it now. That's what's amazing, though. I mean, it shows how Mm -hmm. far this is bent back against Overton uh, window. Yeah, Republicans. Exactly. And, and, you know, again, this is why you try these things when you're in power, right? You don't Mm -hmm. don't get good deals when you don't have the power. He Mm -hmm. had the power back in, in, you know, 2018, and and now he doesn't. So the deals get worse. I will say to Trump's credit, he is the only president since Eisenhower Eisenhower. to try to really do something about this. Mm -hmm. He's actually trying to do something about this. George W. Bush certainly didn't. In fact, I, I remember oh. he, he was on a European tour when mm-hmm. the fence and the uh, uh, and immigration was being yep. debated. Remember that? Yep. When I come back, when I come back, we're going to get comprehensive immigration reform through. And the Republicans were like, uh, no, you're not. No, no, you're not. Because we know what comprehensive immigration reform is. It's amnesty. So he's been fighting against it. I mean, he even sued Texas when they were trying to uh, bring the death penalty to that guy who mm-hmm. murdered the, t- the two teenagers in yep. Houston in 93. Yep. I, I, mean, I will say, at least at some level in Bush's defense, they passed the freaking fence when he was president, 80 to 19. They did. You know, Donald mm-hmm. Trump had two years of complete control of the government and was not able to get with that. Threat. And then thank you, Kay Bailey Hutchison, a Republican. Yes, supposedly. For- 
basically reversing it for <laughs> basically taking the meat out of that. I mean, it, frustrating. It, it is frustrating, and everybody is talking out of both sides. I'm I'm sort of stuck at at the at the letting your kid go across the border thing. Now, look, if you're in the middle of what we always hear of the worst case scenarios, right? Where there's, mm -hmm. you know, you, there's a bunch of gangs around your house and you let mm -hmm. your kid escape out the back and go to the border. Of course, we all understand that. But there's another percentage of people here who are sending their kids for economic reasons. And I got to believe there's a slice in there that just are sick of their kids. And they're just like, go across the border, <laughs> go away. You're annoying. I'm sick of you on Snapchat. America so in other is the words, beautiful. What you're saying is we should start saying, you know, kids, Canada, Canada. <laughs> the American oh, dream beautiful Canada. this time of year. <laughs> go, go. Thanks, Pat. Uh, get everybody's opinion uh, on Blaze Media, uh, blazetv.com slash Beck. Make sure you use the promo code Beck and you're going to save uh, a buttload of money. It's Blaze TV. <laughs> That's an official slogan. You're going to save a buttload of money. Dot com slash Beck. <laughs> eh, might as well. Uh, let me tell you about uh, the Palm Beach Letter. Palm Beach Letter is all about uh, cryptocurrencies. Now, cryptocurrencies kind of had a rough what 14 months 12 months hadn't noticed glenn hadn't you hadn't noticed. noticed no really yeah i huh. mean it depends on when you bought right i mm -hmm. mean a lot of people did i will say a lot of people bought if they listen to this show we were talking about cryptocurrencies two years before the rise in mm -hmm. cryptocurrencies so if you were listening to us in that period you're fine like you're up you're up three four five times your money still mm -hmm. even though there's been a massive drop mm -hmm. uh you know some i people was even i i thought i was even late and I'm still up four times my money. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a, gr a great period and there's been a lot of growth. It's funny if you look at the charts of cryptocurrency and you kind of take out that big bubble that happened really, I mean, legitimately for about three or four months, mm -hmm. there was a big bubble there. Mm -hmm. um, but if you look at it without that, I mean, it's it's a really encouraging chart. You're like, whoa, it's it's up four times in, in yeah. two years. Yeah. I don't know any stock. There's not a lot of stocks that have done that. Yeah. I can tell you if you had your money in the bank account, uh, you, you were looking at that and you're like, okay, I've made 2% if I'm lucky per year. Uh, it's not even, it's probably 2% now, but it's probably 1% over the last couple of years. You're a lot happier if you were in cryptocurrency. Yeah, we were, we, we, you know, you're in trouble if you were buying it at, you know, 10,000, 16,000, yeah. 20,000. It's a short That's, period of time it was there. Yeah, though, you know? yeah. Uh, and then now you just, I wouldn't lose your money. I would just hold on, uh, hold on as long as you possibly can, because it eventually will come back. Because cryptocurrency is the future, I'm absolutely convinced. I mean, unless there is some sort of China-like situation to where it's all just banned in the United States and, and uh, you know, it's just the, the whole world is on lockdown, which could happen. Cryptocurrency and uh, blockchain is going to make a difference um, in the world. It is going to be the, the freedom key. I want you to take a course on this. A uh, smart crypto course. You've got to educate yourself first. Smartcryptocourse.com or you can call 877 PBL back. 877 PBL back. This is a course that we asked one of the, you know, the bigger uh, names in cryptocurrency to design for this audience so you could do your own homework. Smartcryptocourse.com or 877 PBL back. This is the Glenn Beck program. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall -wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at penflooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. Palm Garden announces Fast Track. Fast Track, focused assessment, safe transition. When a new guest is admitted to Palm Garden, we start with the ABCs. A is the assessment to determine what the guest needs. B is for basic care, which is excellent nursing and therapy. And C is for consistency to provide what's needed throughout the stay. Fast Track, Palm Garden will get you home fast, really, really fast. Take a fast tour of Palm Garden located at the corner of Southwest 27th Avenue and 34th Street. 
announcing Jim and Adams in concert. We'd like to invite you to an awesome dual concert Friday, January the 11th at Christ Church of Marion, 6768 Southwest 80th Street. RSVP is required for dinner, served at 5.15 p.m., and the concert will start promptly at 6.30 p.m. Backwater Bluegrass will open up, followed by hit recording artist Gemma Adams. Jesus loves you, don't matter if you're lost or found, if you're rising, if you're falling, hell-bent or heaven-bound. Gemma Adams, singer, songwriter, and musician, with two hit songs on three different charts. A large crowd is expected, so make reservations now at 352-861-6182. Every sinner has a future, every angel has a past. W-O-C-A. PPIR is a networking group formed to serve the realtor and small business community. It primarily serves the real estate and construction industry, but is open to all businesses that provide any service or product to the real estate business community. PPIR has no membership dues or fees for attendees. The watchwords are keep it simple and maximize networking time. PPIR chapters meet three times monthly at different locations after normal business hours. For information on this, call 352-615-9412 or go to events at PPIRevents.com. PPIR, professional people in real estate. Tired of looking at stained carpets, dirty tile, or grout? Call Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. Make your flooring look great again. Stains, pet odors, allergies. Call Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. From serving our country to serving our community. Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. Residential and commercial. Their work is guaranteed along with your satisfaction. Check their website, silverbackrestoration.com. Ocala Business Leaders Incorporated is a group of independent local firms providing a wide range of quality goods and services. Each firm strives to maintain the highest level of professional integrity and 100% customer satisfaction. When you're looking for goods and services, call a member of the Ocala Business Leaders and we are confident you will be pleased with the results. If you are interested in becoming a member of the Ocala Business Leaders, join us at the Ocala Elks Lodge, 25th Avenue in Ocala, any Wednesday at 7 a.m. and enjoy a breakfast on us. For more information, check OcalaBusinessLeaders.com. Hi, this is JP from Penn Flooring here in Ocala. I would like to invite you to come in and visit our spacious showroom where we have solutions for every style and budget. From wall-to-wall -wall carpet to hardwood floors and tiles, we have an unsurpassed selection of flooring. At Penn Flooring, we've provided quality customer service with a family touch for over 25 years. Visit our website at PennFlooring.com or come by our showroom, 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge. Penn Flooring, quality customer service with a family touch. W-O-C-A. There's a current bid now uh, at Heritage Auctions for uh, 120000 It's going to go for much more than this. Uh, the original bronze penny that the Treasury Department denied even existed for about a year uh, from 1943. Most people don't remember or don't know that um, we made steel pennies in 43, 44, and I think part, part of 45. Uh, because we needed copper for the uh, for the wiring, uh, for telephones and uh, and ships and planes and everything else, so we stopped using copper. Well, they made these bronze pennies, and they made about thirty of them as they were testing. Um, somehow or another, the, these thirty pennies dislodged from the machines as they were cutting the steel pennies, and they were put into circulation. The rumor was that. Uh, or the legend is that Henry Ford said, I'm going to give any man a car who finds a bronze penny. Okay. And so it was a big deal that these things were out there. But again, the treasury said, that's not true until a kid was standing in a lunch line and he paid for his lunch and he got change back. And in there was a, a bronze penny from 1943 and he noticed it it was late in 33 or 40 uh, sorry late in uh, 43 or 44 and uh he looks at it and he sees it's 1943 and notices that it's not steel the 
uh, the first time it sold, it went for one point seven million dollars. Uh, it's going up for auction for the very first time now since that time period. The kid actually called Henry Ford and said, "Hey, can I get a can I get a car for this?" And he was told that that was just a rumor, and Henry Ford wasn't uh, doing that. He should have taken the deal. Uh, this is up for auction now. Current bid one hundred and twenty thousand dollars. We will see how much uh, it uh, it goes for. Um, but a nineteen forty three bronze penny up for sale for the very first time. And there's only just a handful of these that we even know even exist. This is the first one found and the most famous. You're listening to Glenn Beck. Warning, if you're buried in debt you can't afford, do not let the credit card companies make you think that you have to pay it all back because you don't. What the credit card companies don't want you to know is that there's actually a way to get debt free without paying off your entire debt or going bankrupt. If you have $5,000 or more in credit card debt, you now have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. For free information, call the debt hotline at 1-800-738-4212. We'll even show you how much money you could save. If you're struggling to pay off your debt, do not let the credit card companies make you think that you have to. Call the debt hotline now for free information on how to get out of debt faster than you ever thought possible without bankruptcy. We offer a guarantee with no upfront fees, so there's no risk. For free information, call the debt hotline now. 1-800-738-4212. That's 800-738-4212. 1-800-738-4212. Here's something you probably don't know about erectile dysfunction. 52% of guys experience ED. And here's something you probably do know about erectile dysfunction. 0% of guys like talking about it. Fortunately, Roman is here to help. With Roman, you can go online and visit a one-stop shop where U.S. licensed physicians can diagnose ED. We'll then ship medication right from our pharmacy to your door. With Roman, you don't have to spend time in waiting rooms, deal with awkward face-to-face conversations, or make uncomfortable trips to the pharmacy. Just visit GetRoman.com, chat with a doctor, and get real FDA-approved medication delivered in discreet, unmarked packaging. And now that brand name ED meds have gone generic, it's more affordable than ever to get treatment. Start your free online visit at GetRoman.com slash America. Additional terms, conditions, and eligibility requirements apply. Visit GetRoman.com for more details. Tired of looking at stained carpets, dirty tile, or grout? Call Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. Make your flooring look great again. Stains, pet odors, allergies. Call Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. From serving our country to serving our community. Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. Residential and commercial. Their work is guaranteed along with your satisfaction. Check their website, silverbackrestoration.com. Veterans Helping Veterans USA. Call 352-433-2320. We help veterans and their families with limited financial assistance, counseling, employment referrals, and a food and clothing bank. You can help in making a huge difference in the veterans' lives we serve by donating food, clothing, household items, or direct financial assistance. All donations are tax deductible. Veterans Helping Veterans USA. 352-433-2320. Thank you for your attention and God bless America. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 96.3 FM, The Source. Fox News, I'm Chris Foster. President Trump visits the Capitol for a policy lunch with Senate Republicans today before meeting with the top Republicans and Democrats in Congress about border wall funding and the partial government shutdown. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi accuses the president of holding the American people hostage to his ineffective, expensive wall and withholding paychecks for hardworking Americans. The top Senate Republican Mitch McConnell. I cannot urge my Democratic colleagues more strongly to get past this purely 
partisan spite. A few Republican senators have said, let's fully reopen the government and then negotiate. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, Fox confirms, plans to leave the Justice Department sometime after Attorney General nominee Bill Barr is confirmed. The White House says the decision to leave is Rosenstein's alone, although the president has been critical of him at times over the special counsel Russia investigation. This is Fox News. Never saw it as a problem when I was younger. Two cigarettes, three cigarettes. It wasn't it wasn't a habit. My mom, she was always like, you need to get rid of them. Gave the jewel a real chance and found that I liked it. Found that it really works. The switch was easy. It was a no-brainer, really. This came from her, really. Patrick made the switch December 2016. Make the switch at JUUL.com. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. At Stiefel, we believe investment advice is about more than helping you manage your wealth. Our investment advice is about you. It's about providing your kids with opportunities for a head start in life, feeling secure in your retirement, and realizing your dreams just may become a reality because you have a plan. We believe in you. Your path to investment advice starts with your Stiefel Financial Advisor. Find your new Stiefel Financial Advisor at Stiefel.com. That's S-T-I-F-E-L. Stiefel Nicholas and Company Incorporated, member SIPC and NYSE. A pretty nice day for Wednesday with times of clouds and sunshine. Highs will range from the upper 60s in the northernmost part of the zone to the mid-70s in the south. And clear and quite chilly Wednesday night. Lows in the mid-30s in the coldest inland spots, low 40s at the coast. Thursday will be mostly sunny and cooler highs in the upper 50s in the coolest part of the zone to about 64 along the coast to the south. Friday, partly sunny, a little warmer, high 68 to 72. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Here is your one-minute news brief. It's official. Ocala will celebrate her 150th birthday on February 4th. Ocala Mayor Kent Gwynn, City Manager John Zobler, and the Ocala City Council have decided that Ocala was officially incorporated on February 4th, 1869. There will be a celebration each month to mark the sesquicentennial year. A Miami police officer has crashed into a storage facility while apparently attempting to avoid another vehicle. The parents of a Florida teenager killed when a Tesla sedan crashed and caught fire last year are suing the electric car company, alleging that the battery pack on its electric Model S is defective. With Florida's new governor taking office, some parents of students killed in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School massacre are pushing for Ron DeSantis to remove Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel. An asteroid circling spacecraft has captured a cool photo of Earth from 70 million miles away. We look like a white dot. And Florida's Space Coast has made CNN Travel's list of top places to visit in 2019. And that is your news brief from The Source. Started in 1975, it's Yendel's Building Materials. Whether you're making repairs, adding a room, or building a house, Yendel's constantly delivers excellent service and top quality materials and many of the tools and hardware you need to get the job done. At Yendel's, they take pride in supplying their customers with new and innovative products. Yendel's experience in trust design, manufacturing, and component materials is second to none. 834 North Magnolia Avenue in Ocala, 732-3000. Stop by to experience the difference. Announcing Gemma Adams in concert, we'd like to invite you to an awesome dual concert Friday, January the 11th at Christ Church of Marion, 6768 Southwest 80th Street. RSVP is required for dinner, served at 5.15 p.m., and the concert will start promptly at 6.30 p.m. Backwater Bluegrass will open up, followed by hit recording artist Gemma Adams. Jesus loves you, don't matter if you lost or found, if you rise and if you fall. Gemma Adams, singer, songwriter, and musician with two hit songs on three different charts. A large crowd is expected, so make reservations now at 352-861-6182. Every sinner has a future. Every angel has a past. W-O-C-A. W-O-C-A. Putting the local back into radio. Tick-tock, the days fly by, and refined tax season is upon us once again. Not to worry, though. With a reputable CPA firm on your side, you can rest assured that all of your needs will be handled in a professional and thorough manner. Robson, Scribner, and Stewart is just that firm. They're there for their clients year-round, not just during tax season, to handle your needs and answer any questions you may encounter. At Robson, Scribner, and Stewart, there is no client too small or too large. Their expertise ranges from the single individual to the 
largest of corporations. Get your return prepared by a professional who will use their years of experience to ensure that your tax returns outcome will leave you in the best possible position. Call them today at 694-4184. Robson, Scribner, and Stewart. They're there for you today. Again, that number is 694-4184. Time is of the essence, so don't delay. 694-4184. of entertainment and enlightenment. This is the Glenn Beck Program. Trump's speech on immigration and the Democratic response. Today, we're trying to get all of the different voices throughout the entire spectrum of the conservative movement. We begin this hour with Andrew Clavin, then Ben Ferguson, then Steve Dace. We'll touch on our opinion as well. We also have Matt Kibbe, Stephen Kent, John Miller, and so much more joining us. What, what, what is the end game? What is the effect of what happened last night, if anything? We begin with Andrew Claven right now. This is the Glenn Beck Program. First, we want to start with one minute uh, of uh, commercial time to to thank our sponsor. Then we're right back into the show. We've cut back on all of the uh, commercials in the first half hour of every hour of this uh, broadcast. So we can just quickly tell you about our sponsor and then move back into the program. We want to tell you a little bit about uh, superfoods. Superfoods, pretty much a lie. Yeah, pretty much a lie. Well, it's a lie if... If it has supplemental facts uh, or supplemental uh, supplement facts, right? Yeah, supplement kind of, facts. It's not an actual. You don't when you buy food, it doesn't say supplement facts, right? And so if it's a superfood, it really shouldn't say supplement facts. Right. If if you're eating a carrot or God forbid kale, it doesn't say. Oh, by the way, there's a supplement that goes with that. I'm not eating kale and a supplement. <laughs> That's why Field of Greens is so good. This is the actual superfood. There are no supplements added to this. So you don't have to eat kale. You don't have to eat your greens. You don't have to even have fruit if you don't want it. Uh, it, You just spoonful of this stuff into anything that you're drinking, and it actually tastes pretty good. Uh, And you don't have to have a salad ever again. It's your hall pass from Salad Land. Makes me so happy. Mm -hmm. You saw my son-in-law eating... I think it was a sandwich without any bread. It was wrapped, I think, in kale. It, 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 oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's not I, a sandwich. I, when you're wrapping I, it in kale, it's not oh a my sandwich. Gosh. I looked at that, and I'm like, you, you've you got, I know it's my daughter, but you need a divorce. Because <laughs> this is, <laughs> try, go to BrickHouseGlenn.com. That's BrickHouseGlenn.com. Use the promo code Glenn Field of Greens. We pause now for 10 seconds ID. Mr. Andrew Claven joins us on the Glenbeck program. Andrew, how are you, sir? I'm good. How are you doing? Good. So what was the what's the view from uh, the state of California where you have your new governor saying, hey, we're going to welcome everybody? Well, that's right. We in California, we're going to welcome everybody in New York City. They're now going to pay for the health care of everybody, no matter what their immigration status is. So it really it's fair to ask. What is the overall belief that Trump is putting forward, and what's the overall belief that the Democrats are putting forward? Trump made a speech last night that we were told was going to be all lies and fear-mongering, and it was all lies and fear-mongering, but not from Trump. Trump was very direct, Mm. he was very factual, he was very controlled, and the Democrats are basically talking this mealy-mouthed, you know, moral language that doesn't have any real meaning when it comes to securing the border. So I think it's just fair to ask, what's the end game? And I think the end game with Donald Trump, it seems to me, for whatever his personal flaws are, he is putting forward a very rational case that a country has a right to control its border, that people who cross the border illegally are committing a crime and more crimes will follow. That's a perfectly valid argument, and that a wall would work, which is absolutely true. 
What are the Democrats really saying? They're saying, let's do things that won't exactly work. Let's spend money on things that we've shown to be ineffective because they want these guys coming over into the country. They think they're future Democrats. They think that the uh, idea of compassion is going to sell to minority voters who are already here. And they're not really thinking about the good of the country. I, I just thought it was embarrassing. I thought the Democrats embarrassed themselves last night. And everything is made worse. I mean, this is the big point for me. Everything is made worse by the fact that the corporate media is simply now a spokesperson, a, a unified spokesperson for the Democrats. I agree. It's very hard. To, it's very hard to have a rational conversation when this immense corporate megaphone is only selling propaganda for one side. I have no problem with there being two parties in this country that disagree, but I have a serious problem when ABC and CBS and NBC and CNN and the New York Times and the Washington Post, under the guise of fact-checking, are essentially checking Trump's opinions versus the Democrats' opinions and saying the Democrats' opinions are right. I think that that is so distorting to our conversation. It makes normal people get angry and overreact, and it means that the Democrats can say anything they want and basically feel that they are they're wearing armor. Nobody can touch them because the press will cover it up. And I just think, you know, for all of Trump's flaws, all the hyperbole, all the kind of playing fast and loose with the facts, he's, he's not half as bad as the press is. And he's, he's 100% right about them, to slap them around. You know I'm a absolute, uh, an absolutist when it comes to the First Amendment. I don't think the government should touch the press. But I think the press needs to reform itself. I really do. I mm-hmm. think they are being very damaging to this to the country's conversation. I don't think they're going to have any credibility left in, you know, a couple of years. By the time we by the time we finish with uh, the 2020 election, I just think it's it's over. There's not they're just not going to have any credibility uh, except for those who are playing the media uh, or I'm sorry, the politics uh, role. If you're if you're on the side of the Democrats and you are really actively engaged in in that you'll you'll gravitate towards the press still but i don't know anybody who's watching it anymore do you andrew uh, you know, I, I do know when I when I go to New York and I talk to liberals, I talk to my family, they were very liberal. I always, whenever I read the New York Times now, I find myself thinking, who believes that? And then I remember, I know people who believe it, you know, pick up the New York Times and think this is the news, or as they used to say, this is the way it is. And it really is shameful. I mean, I was looking at their fact check of the president's speech, and it was everything they could do to pick out some little thing that wasn't exactly 100% what they would say it was, and then call him a liar. I mean, the Washington Post was running headlines that said things like, well, he says there are hundreds of thousands of criminals coming over, but really, they're being charged with all kinds of crimes, so it has to be put into context. I thought, no, it doesn't. He was just telling the truth. You know, you can slam, it's so easy to slam Trump because of the way he speaks and the loose way he speaks with facts. But when he's doing a good job and the press doesn't say, yeah, that, was, that speech was pretty much accurate and expressed his point of view, and here's the other point of view, they, they just make fools of themselves. I, you well, know, I, think, I, I think, Andrew, um, that, you know, it's, it's, it's like if you talk to somebody who says McDonald's makes nothing good, there's just nothing good, and you say, hang on just a second, have you had their French fries? Yes, and they're horrible. I just just dismiss them. You can say, oh, my gosh, th- this is horrible and this is horrible, but they make a great French fry. Then you have credibility. They will n- the press will never, ever give, in this case, Donald Trump, the McDonald's of presidents, <laughs> the credit for French fries. When he makes something right, when he does something good, they still decimate him. And they're posing as the kind of voice of the conscience of America. They're posing as the mm-hmm. people who deliver the facts to America. And, you know, when, when it, whenever I hear right-wingers go over the line and start to say angry stuff and start to overreact to the way they see the world, I just know it's because they are surrounded. They're surrounded by this noise that the press throws up of Democrat talking points. And, why, you know, why shouldn't it make people crazy? Why shouldn't 64 million people... People go out and just say, you know what? I'm sending a guy to Washington who's going to tell these people where to stick it. So, you did, know? Did, why did, shouldn't they feel like that? Did you um, uh, did you see anybody fact check 
the fact that uh, the president wants a border wall that is expensive and ineffective. That's what they said. Expensive and ineffective. Well, if it's expensive at five billion, why did a year ago Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer and the Democrats offer 30 billion dollars in border security for the wall itself? Did you hear anybody point that out that? Nobody pointed it out. In fact, they tried in the New York Times, they tried to make it sound as if Trump were exaggerating when he said Chuck Schumer has supported a wall numerous times. He has. So has Nancy Pelosi. So did Barack Obama. So did Dianne Feinstein. They have all been in favor of of some kind of barrier. Why? Because when you put up a wall, it keeps people out. It works every time. It's so simple and so basic. And it's just the fact that it's Trump's promise. They really are just now so deranged by the presence of Trump. He has driven them all so insane that they will, it, seriously, if he said that I, he liked air, they would stop breathing. I, I mean, spoke, they've, they've really gone that far. Uh, last question. I, I spoke to um, Eric Bowling this morning, who was, you know, has a lot of connections in the White House. He said um, that he 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 believes it's true that the president thought this would be ineffective, was only doing this because Shine and everybody else uh, told him to. He said he believes he's going to use the national emergency, which Eric said, uh, I was surprised by this, was wrong and he didn't want that to happen. Do you do you buy into that? And should the president use emergency powers? Well, I don't think I don't think he should, but I, I, it's really amazing how much of the news about Trump is news about what the news people think that Trump is going to do. Amen. And a lot of the sources talking from the Oval Office are people who think they're smarter than the president. That you know, they're the typical kind of underling who thinks that they're they're boss who works on his gut is an idiot where they went to a good school and they really know the truth and they're leaking out stuff saying now Trump is a fool Trump is this and that Trump has a good gut he actually does have a good sense of what what he can do politically and what should be done politically he's he's pretty good at that you know and despite the fact of, of the way he talks and I'm just really really distrustful of source news out of the Oval Office right now I think it is very distorted mm. and it, the press is very gullible with it Andrew Clavin from uh, DailyWire.com. You can watch him uh, every day. It's always good to talk to you, Andrew. Love talking to you, Glenn. Thank you. You bet. Bye-bye. Now we're more than 60 seconds away from more programming. We have Ben Ferguson from Blaze TV. We're going to get his opinion on what happened last night, what this means uh, coming up in just a second. Uh, first, let me tell you about Simply Safe. Simply Safe, there are a lot of things that you could, um, you know, you can do on your own and, you know, you can just kind of skate with. Your family's safety and your home safety is really not one of those things. SimplySafeBeck.com is where I want you to go and look for the difference between what you may have done in the past or what you may still be doing uh, under contract with one of these, you know, alarm companies. They're charging an arm and a leg I just told you yesterday, I don't know if I still have it here, uh, of a uh, of a thing that came to my door. Yeah, here it is from ADT. It says $27.99, uh, the, the uh, lowest monitoring price. Well, that may be their lowest monitoring price, <laughs> right. but it's not the lowest. The lowest that I know of is Simply Safe, and it's $14.99 a month. And they don't change that on you because uh, you don't have a contract with them. You don't. I don't think that's changed the entire time we've been talking about no, Simply Safe. No, we've had they've been sponsors for about five years yeah, now. $14.99 the whole time. $14.99. Uh, SimplySafeBeck.com. You own the system. No wires, no strings, no contracts. The best way to protect yourself and your family. SimplySafeBeck.com. Pause for 10 seconds. Station ID. From from the Blaze TV, it is Ben Ferguson now. Ben Ferguson joins us on the Glenn Beck program. How you doing, Ben? Good morning, sir. How are you? I'm good. So I'm anxious to hear what uh, what a, a millennial uh, thinks about uh, the president's speech last night and how you believe this is being processed today. Did it make any difference? 
I think it can make a small difference. I, I think what the president needs to do now uh, is actually more important than last night. Last night was a reminder of the country, a, a reconnect of the country about what this issue is about. It's not just about uh, a, a identity wall with Trump's name on it, which is Democrats have done a brilliant job of, of turning this issue into. that. This is about his ego. Uh, it's about his obsession with the wall. It's about Donald Trump. And what the president did lay out last night, I thought, was actually really smart. He talked about about how this is an issue for safety, especially of women. Remember, uh, re- conservatives need to challenge Democrats on this. Democrats have, for my entire lifetime, said they are the party of women. Women are being abused at the border. One in three are sexually assaulted coming into this country. Women are being abused, illegal immigrants and American citizens, by illegal immigrants in this country. And I, I think the president needs to take it to the Democrats on that and say, where are you? You're the party that claims that you always are, are right on women's rights. How are you not protecting these women. I think the second thing the president mentioned last night, which he needs to now really go sell the American people, uh, especially when he's at the border, is the issue of drugs. You look at drugs in this country, and there are a lot of, of undecided, middle-of-the-road people that aren't hard Trump supporters or hard Democrat supporters that have been affected by family members who have died of overdoses of drugs, fentanyl, cocaine, heroin, All of those are coming across our southern border, and I think that's an issue where the president can win big time with younger people, millennials, uh, and with people that maybe don't pay that much attention to politics and say, this is not – take me out of it. Take my name off this wall. This is not about a wall. This is about drugs. This is about overdoses. This is the same issue that I talked about with prison reform and actually appeal to people on that issue. And then the last one is I think the president needs to talk about the hypocrisy and expand on it even more of how Democrats are now somehow obsessed with these 800,000 government workers who are not going to get paid right now. The mass majority of them, if not all of them, are going to get paid for not working during this time when they're on furlough. They're going to get their money back. That doesn't happen in the real world, by the way. But the hypocrisy of the Democrats on this economic issue. Democrats don't care about the American worker. If they did, they would have been fighting to secure the border so that Americans would not be underpaid and undercut by illegal immigrant work. That those that are not fully employed, but part-time employed uh, because they're undercut by illegal immigrant workers. They would have been protecting, defending them. They would have been protecting, defending the American workers who have lost jobs because of illegal immigrant workers. I mean, these are issues that have nothing to do with just the flat, simple issue of millions of people coming across the border illegally and how we need this wall. And I think the president's now got to go out there. He's got to sell it and break it down into these categories, because when you do that, it, re, it, it basically brings new attention to the issue or a reminder of what is coming across the border. And then it's not just Trump and his, quote, wall. And again, I give credit to the Democrats. They've done a fabulous job of turning this into an ego-driven uh, idea, when in reality it's the idea that got the president to the White House, and it's an idea that Democrats themselves, Bill Clinton, Obama, Hillary Clinton, I mean, even you've, you've seen the videos, you've heard the audio, Glenn, of Schumer, hardcore on, on, on illegal immigration reform. The only thing that changed is that Donald Trump is now in favor of the wall, and the Democrats hate Donald Trump, and anything Donald Trump's in favor of, the Democrats will oppose. Talking to Ben Ferguson from uh, BlazeTV.com. You can see his show on uh, the Blaze TV. Ben, what, what do you think the right approach is here when you're selling this to America? Because, I, you know, there's a couple stats between the uh, overdoses being more than the Vietnam War deaths in a year. I mean, that's a fascinating stat. You brought up the one, one in three women who are being brought here are sexually assaulted on these journeys, illegally crossing the border. What is the what's the argument that connects with America so they don't see this at a part as a partisan issue? Yeah, I, I think the president needs to take this to the local level, and I think uh, he needs to go to these states, each one of these border states, and I think he needs to have town halls. Uh, I remember Barack Obama doing them brilliantly, where you bring in people that have been affected by the issue that you're mm-hmm. talking about. He did this with health care reform. 
and take himself out of it and bring the governors up and bring the congressmen and the mayors and the sheriffs up. Uh, I, I would even argue do the same type of town hall that CNN did after the shooting in, uh, the school shooting in Florida. Have the local people that are affected the most and highlight them. That's how you sell this, because I do believe that if the president wants to get this done, he's got to be very strategic about taking himself and his personality out of this, because the Democrats, again, they have played this brilliantly. They that this wall is only about Donald Trump's ego. It's, it's, it's nothing else. And he needs to let other people's stories shine here uh, and talk about this. I mean, you, look, in 2018, you had over 17,000 adults arrested at the border who had prior criminal records, including over 6,000 gang members. You have to highlight those people that were affected by MS-13. You, you have to highlight the people that are affected that lost loved ones, just like that police officer in California the night after you know, we celebrated Christmas. I mean, and, and you talk about uh, ICE, for example. Uh, Cortez last night was on MSNBC saying that ICE agents are, are what's wrong with this country and they're actually uh, human rights abusers. Well, those human rights abusers, those ICE agents, in 17 and 18 alone – 100,000 arrests for assault, 30,000 arrests for sex crimes alone, and that's not the only things they talk about. 4,000 arrests for murder, and that's only the people that we caught. So the president goes out there, sells this to the American people that way. That's how you're going to connect. What have, uh, I, t- I talked to um, Eric Bowling about an hour ago, yeah. and he said that he thought the president was going to use uh, emergency powers. He didn't believe in this approach, and he was just doing this uh, to get it done and to check the box, uh, and he was going to use the emergency powers. Talk to me a little bit about emergency powers. Is that a good idea, a bad idea? And and also, does the government shutdown continue for very much longer? Yeah, well, two things. I think, one, that the that last night not proposing the, the, the emergency powers was actually a smart move. The, there's still work to be done on selling the American people that there is a crisis and an emergency at the border. So I think the president laid the, 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 the groundwork, the, the, the framework, the foundation for that possibility. I also don't think that you do it yet because we're not far enough into a government shutdown uh, where people are starting to say, get it open at all costs. I, I think we're still very divided in this country on this. I actually personally like the government shut down. I think the longer it goes on, the more it shows the American people how bloated the federal government actually is. I mean, remember, we're not talking about a total government shutdown. We're talking about a partial shutdown. We can have this thing go through September uh, and and the mass majority of the actual functions of the government that we do mostly need are going to be running. So I think the president keeps it going. Ben Ferguson from the Ben Ferguson Show. You can hear the rest of his opinion, watch his show, and all of the opinions across the conservative's perspective at blazetv.com slash Beck. Use the promo code Beck and save on your subscription. You're listening to Glenn Beck. Imagine owning a company where the biggest complaint, the number one complaint was, I wish I would have bought the bigger one. That's the that's the situation at Liberty Safe. What a sweet problem to deal with that people buy their safe and their only complaint is, oh, I wish I would. I had more stuff. I usually only say that after a drive through run. You know, I'm just like, ah, I should have bought this super size. Uh, that, yes. but that, it happens yes. all the time at Liberty yes, Safe. It does. <laughs> it does. Liberty Safe, they've sold two million safes and they've done it for a reason. They're the number one safe manufacturer in the nation now. And they offer exclusive uh, features like military uh, style locking bars and heat expanding fire seals. Second to none. Best built safe on the planet, bar none. It's Liberty Safe. Go there now, libertysafe.com. Keep your family safe, keep your paper safe, keep your guns safe in a libertysafe.com. Steve Dace is coming up in just a couple of minutes. Get his perspective on the president's speech from last night. He's also on blazetv.com slash Beck. Use the promo code Beck. Why not?
not serve a delicious, intimate, and very easy dinner from Honey Baked Ham of Ocala? They have about the best ham produced ever and turkey breast or beef pot roast or pork roast. I thought they just served whole or half hams or turkeys that you picked up at Thanksgiving or Christmas. They have so much more. They have a cafe and do all kinds of hot and cold catering. They'll do most of the work while you get all of the credit. Where are they? Southwest 27th Avenue, right behind Best Buy. Give them a call at 861-0011. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. News. I'm Chris Foster. President Trump visits the Capitol for a policy lunch with Senate Republicans today before meeting with the top Republicans and Democrats in Congress about border wall funding and the partial government shutdown. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi accuses the president of holding the American people hostage to his ineffective, expensive wall and withholding paychecks for hardworking Americans. The top Senate Republican Mitch McConnell. I cannot urge my Democratic colleagues more strongly to get past this purely partisan spite. A few Republican senators have said let's fully reopen the government and then negotiate. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, Fox confirms, plans to leave the Justice Department sometime after Attorney General nominee Bill Barr is confirmed. The White House says the decision to leave is Rosenstein's alone, although the president has been critical of him at times over the special counsel Russia investigation. This is Fox News. Never saw it as a problem when I was younger. Two cigarettes, three cigarettes. It wasn't it wasn't a habit. My mom, she was always like, you need to get rid of them. Gave the jewel a real chance and found that I liked it. Found that it really works. The switch was easy. It was a no-brainer, really. This came from her, really. Patrick made the switch December 2016. Make the switch at JUUL.com. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. At Stiefel, we believe investment advice is about more than helping you manage your wealth. Our investment advice is about you. It's about providing your kids with opportunities for a head start in life, feeling secure in your retirement, and realizing your dreams just may become a reality because you have a plan. We believe in you. Your path to investment advice starts with your Stiefel Financial Advisor. Find your new Stiefel Financial Advisor at Stiefel.com. That's S-T-I-F-E-L. Stiefel Nicholas and Company Incorporated, member SIPC and NYSE. Tired of looking at stained carpets, dirty tile, or grout? Call Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. Make your flooring look great again. Stains, pet odors, allergies. Call Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. From serving our country to serving our community. Silverback Restoration. 414-5312. Residential and commercial. Their work is guaranteed along with your satisfaction. Check their website, silverbackrestoration.com. Veterans Helping Veterans USA. Call 352-433-2320. We help veterans and their families with limited financial assistance, counseling, employment referrals, and a food and clothing bank. You can help in making a huge difference in the veterans' lives we serve by donating food, clothing, household items, or direct financial assistance. All donations are tax deductible. Veterans Helping Veterans USA. 352-433-2320. Thank you for your attention and God bless America. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. A pretty nice day for Wednesday with times of clouds and sunshine. Highs will range from the upper 60s in the northernmost part of the zone to the mid-70s in the south. And clear and quite chilly Wednesday night. Lows in the mid-30s in the coldest inland spots, low 40s at the coast. Thursday will be mostly sunny and cooler. Highs in the upper 50s in the coolest part of the zone to about 64 along the coast to the south. Friday, partly sunny, a little warmer. High 68 to 72. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. 
Here is your one minute news brief. It's official. Ocala will celebrate her 150th birthday on February 4th. Ocala Mayor Kent Gwynn, City Manager John Zobler, and the Ocala City Council have decided that Ocala was officially incorporated on February 4th, 1869. There will be a celebration each month to mark the sesquicentennial year. A Miami police officer has crashed into a storage facility while apparently attempting to avoid another vehicle. The parents of a Florida teenager killed when a Tesla sedan crashed and caught fire last year are suing the electric car company, alleging that the battery pack on its electric Model S is defective. With Florida's new governor taking office, some parents of students killed in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School massacre are pushing for Ron DeSantis to remove Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel. An asteroid-circling spacecraft has captured a cool photo of Earth from 70 million miles away. We look like a white dot. And Florida's Space Coast has made CNN Travel's list of top places to visit in 2019. And that is your news brief from The Source. Started in 1975, it's Yendel's Building Materials. Whether you're making repairs, adding a room, or building a house, Yendel's constantly delivers excellent service and top quality materials and many of the tools and hardware you need to get the job done. At Yendel's, they take pride in supplying their customers with new and innovative products. Yendel's experience in trust design, manufacturing, and component materials is second to none. who follows us on Blaze TV uh, and uh, Blaze Radio Network joins us now from Blaze TV uh, to give us his opinion on uh, what he thought of the Donald Trump's speech last night uh, and Nancy and Chuck and what the fallout or effect is going to be. Steve, welcome. Morning, Glenn. How are you, man? I'm good. I'm good. So what I thought happened last night was was essentially... Uh, the 2016 election in a nutshell. Uh, I thought uh, at the beginning of the speech, I, I kind of felt like you, sometimes you have those feelings like, I still can't believe the guy from The Apprentice is president, you know? And <laughs> it looked, it looked it, and I watched it on Fox, and it looked like Fox's camera angle was off, so it looked like he was talking over my shoulder, uh, and he was hurried. He was kind of running through the, the content, and I'm like, oh, no, oh, no. I, again, he can't handle the trappings uh, of the office. Uh, but then there was a pivot point, and the pivot point began when he started using personal testimonials of Americans harmed by illegal mm-hmm. immigration. And then he started dropping illegal alien, which kind of get which gets you shadow banned on social media for using the legal term nowadays. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and then so it, it started ratcheting up, and the crescendo pivot, the the, the piece de resistance, is when he went to the card of. Wealthy politicians have fences and walls, Mm -hmm. not because they hate the people outside, but they love the people inside. And the last third of that speech is that was the argument of moral certainty and and out of the details of how many people have been arrested and how much brick and straw and mortar Mm -hmm. to use. And, And he got to the premise of his argument. And then then the Democrats presented a face. This is why they keep covering him so much. It's why we had so much time during the general election, Glenn, when it looked like Hillary wasn't even running. Yes. Because they know on his own he's not a likable character. But given an unlikable foil, and he is a devastating political weapon, and all they needed was Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer last night looking like they swapped and shared eye eye shadow before the game began, (laughs) and it was over. It was basically a replay of 2016, just swap out Hillary Clinton for Schumer and Pelosi. Why, in your your wildest dreams, would you have selected Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer to stand in a narrow hallway that looked like it was a hallway to a bathroom— uh, is standing at a podium, the two of them shoulder to shoulder. It looked ridiculous. They mm-hmm. were awful at it. Uh, why would you pick those two? Well, the problem the Democrats have, you know, and, and they have an establishment and a swamp and a base and activists, just like the Republicans do. And they're in a generational transition. You know, we played a clip yesterday on our Blaze show of Whoopi Goldberg going off on Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. And I and I channeled Kevin Nealon, subliminal man from SNL back in the day mm-hmm. to show our audience that that's she's not really talking about know your role and, and know your place. She's upset that Cort- Ocasio Cortez is earnestly and idealistically trying to front sell the country on becoming Sweden. And what she's really telling her is we got to lie better than that. 
I mean, we, we have to we have to race bait better than that. We can't sell this thing whole cloth as an upfront product because while the re- most of the country is not conservative, it ain't communist yet either. So we can't win that argument. And so the Democrats are in this generational vortex where people like Ocasio Cortez are not yet ready for leadership. They're not yet ready for prime time, and the country's not yet ready for them to sell us the the, the jalopy. And so they need to bring Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, uh, the dinosaurs, out to keep trying to sell the undercoating instead. So they're in this no man's land. And and, and that's why I wrote recently that the the 2020 election outcome, barring some bombshell from Mueller we have yet to see, barring that, the 2020 election outcome is already spoken for. Either the Democrats will nominate someone who is likable, a Joe Biden, a Beto O'Rourke, somebody like that, or they will nominate one of these Marxists that wants either they want to beat Trump or they want to convince America to become Sweden. If they want to convince America to become Sweden, he's going to troll the Sam Hill out of them all the way to Election Day. If they nominate somebody who's far more likable on television as a contrast to him, then I think you'll see a replay of what we just saw in the November House election. I, I, you know, I wonder, however, if the American people aren't the millennials, at least aren't ready for someone to say, you know what, this just doesn't work. I mean, I talked about this on Fox. I said the masks are going to come off and they're going to say, "Okay, yes, yes, I am a socialist. Yes, I do believe in this because capitalism doesn't work. And we're there now. And they're saying those things. Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, they're not. But those old horses don't run anymore. They just don't run. They don't connect. You, uh, I looked at Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer last night, and I thought, completely out of touch. Uh, they don't even look real. Nancy Pelosi doesn't. She looks like, uh, you know, Walt Disney was called up from the freezer to, to keep her going. It's bizarre. You're right that the millennials are. But, you know, here's the difference. This is where you look at the Senate election we just had, because those are statewide elections. You know, I was actually on MSNBC once where Ed Rendell tried to make the case Republicans had just won the Senate from the Democrats because of gerrymandering. OK, I mean, it, no, they're statewide <laughs> elections. Then. OK, <clears throat> all right. No, that's, that's not that how that happened. word works. That's not at all yeah, how that yeah. word works. Yes. So statewide elections, what you just saw is in a very favorable environment. Democrats didn't pick up any seats in the Senate, uh, meaning in terms of a net gain. All right. They didn't pick up a net gain. And why that what that matters for a presidential election is that's what presidential elections are. They're higher turnout Senate elections, 50 of them all over the country. And so the demographics are in favor of the Democrats just being openly and honest about, hey, we're all Marxists now in 2028, 2032. That's why I've said on our show all along, if we don't see moral and spiritual great awakenings like we saw in the in the 17th and, and 19th centuries, you'll see liberty die in America because we are heading towards that demographic apocalypse. I agree. But we aren't there quite yet. And so we're not having the 2028 election yet. We're having the 2020 election. And there are still enough people that live in rural places or live in places like Iowa, where I live now, that still re- that still kind of respond to the old uh, to the old time religion, for lack of a better phrase. And so they're trying to figure out when can we give you guys the full Monty, or and or and, and how much longer do we just have to show you a little slip uh, of the leg? And that's what's going on in the Democratic Party right now. Do you now. think the average Democrat, they may not like Donald Trump, but the average Democrat is listening in the heartland and they see Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer and they say, hey, wait a minute. I mean, you guys don't believe any of this stuff. You, you, I mean, like, for instance, last night I watched Donald Trump and I was actually really, really pleased and happy with his speech. Uh, not necessarily his delivery. I, I watched him with frustration like I used to watch George Bush with frustration going, oh, geez, man, please. Um, you know, uh, and so I had that frustration that he wasn't doing a good job delivering. We never seem to have somebody who can deliver a speech since Reagan. Do you think that the Democrats at least feel that when it comes to Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer? Or do you believe that they were effective? What I think is fascinating about the transition in the Democratic Party is the Re- in the Republican Party, it's the Republican base versus the leadership. It used to be called conservatives, moderates. It then became Tea Partiers establishment. But really, it's about the base versus the party and leadership and donor class. 
In the Democratic divide, they have that, but then there are also two different Democratic bases. There is the Democratic base that the Joe Bidens of the world grew up in, that is far more liberal than we are, and has moved increasingly to the left in the last couple of decades, but they still grew up in an America where they were neighbors to people like us, Glenn. They went to church with people like us. They, they, had, they, they, they played Little League with people like us, and so we're not somebody that needs to be snuffed out, and as Eric Erickson likes to say, if you won't join the new utopia, you will be made to care. All right. And then so there's that Democratic base and they're they're the they're what's left of the blue collar private union worker, the electrical worker guy, the teamster worker guy. But they're going away as the economy modernizes and evolves and they're being replaced by the other Democratic base. And that's what in, in a place like Iowa, you'll find the first Democratic base that I mentioned in rural places like Indianola outside of where I live in Des Moines. And, and you'll see candidates like Joe Biden and Beta O'Rourke go to places like that. And then there's the other Democratic base at the University of Iowa and Grinnell College. And that's where you're going to see the Elizabeth Warrens and Camilla Harris's and the Spartacuses go and everybody else that's running, because that's the new wave. Those are the people you're talking about. They are ready for the hammer and the sickle. They have read Das Kapital, and they are convinced that that is America's third wave. So it depends on which Democratic base you're talking about. You're in Iowa. You're watching the election uh, and you're seeing these people come to town. Tell me about what your what your initial gut is on the Democrats that have come through. I'm going to give your audience a name they've never heard before. Watch a guy named Jerry Crawford. Jerry Crawford is the Democratic, longtime Democratic Party kingpin in Iowa. I've known Jerry for years. When I used to do local sports talk radio, he's a big sports enthusiast, a horse racing enthusiast. Uh, we've run in the same circles. Him and I have gotten along for years. All right. And he is of the old Joe Biden wing of the party. Remember when Hillary said a few months ago, the reason that the struggle she had in Iowa is she still is a capitalist. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is Jerry Crawford backed Hillary Clinton. And it used to be if you got Jerry Crawford in Iowa, you won the Iowa caucuses no matter what. Well, Jerry Crawford has struggled in the last two Iowa caucuses. Basically, Hillary and Bernie tied and then Hillary lost to Obama here. All right. And so what will be fascinating is if you see Jerry Crawford say, I got to give the old Democratic Party one more go. And that's why I'm going to back a Beta O'Rourke or I'm going to back a Joe Biden. Or if you see if you see Jerry Crawford sit back and wait to see which of the new Marxists emerges and says, you know what, I'm going to get on the winning side. He is the caricature, the archetype of what's happening in the Democratic Party. And I would watch a guy like him much more than I would watch the candidates themselves. Steve, we, if I were going to give you three draft picks and you had to select uh, the Democrat that actually wins, if you had to pick three out of that field, who would you pick? Best I think Joe Biden win. will absolutely beat Donald Trump. And the reason why, and, that, and mm. that would be my only pick. Mm. And the reason why I think he'll absolutely beat him is because he's got high name ID and because he, he, even, he has enough of the new Marxist cachet, having been Obama's VP and right-hand man for eight years, that while they won't, the, the, that, that the Ocasio-Cortez crowd won't rally to him, he has too much street cred for them to reject him and openly revolt against him like they did Hillary in the last primary mm-hmm. cycle. So to me, I think it's, I think, I think he, if, if, if they nominate Joe Biden, I also think Joe Biden is much like Trump. He is really good in, intraperson, in interpersonal settings and casual mm-hmm. settings, but as a malaprompt with the stagecraft like Trump is, which means I think he'll stand up to Trump's trolling and return fire and give him what for. He won't wilt under the uh, humiliation act that Trump likes to do with his uh, opponents. And so if they nominate him, then I think you'll see the 2020 election look like the 2018 House election. Everywhere Democrats can win, they will win. Wow. Mm. Steve, thank you very much. Great analysis uh, from Steve Dace. Steve Dace has a show that follows us on the Blaze Radio Network and also blazetv.com, blazetv.com slash Beck. Use the promo code Beck. You're going to save some uh, cash on your uh, membership. Today is the day to join because we have everyone, the entire spectrum from uh, the White House correspondent, which we're still going to talk to tonight, uh, John Miller. Uh, actually, we're going to talk to him here in just a few minutes. John Miller is coming up, I think, next. Matt Kibbe, who is on the libertarian uh, side of the spectrum. And Stephen Kent, who I would also put on the libertarian and millennial uh, side of the spectrum. Uh, and, of course, Mark Levin and everybody else. You can get all of their opinions and uh, and see where the conservative movement is headed by joining BlazeTV.com. That's BlazeTV.com. 
Make sure you use the promo code BECK. All right, American Finance. So I brought in a, uh, a letter the other day that I was I was just floored by. It's a it was a letter from uh, here it is. It's a it was a sales piece actually from J P Morgan Securities, and basically what it is is it's 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 selling you relationship pricing, and you can get a really good price on a mortgage right now for your house if you just sign over as collateral. What's in your stock market? Okay, so I'm going to sign over what's in my 401k. And I, I because I believe what's going to happen to the stock market is disastrous, I thought, well, what's that going to mean for people who put in the stock market their 20% down? Uh, it, it says, fine print at the very last, managing collateral, if the value of our, your securities and pledged asset account f- uh, falls below the required minimum, you will be asked to post additional collateral. Oh. If you don't, your pledged securities may be sold to satisfy such obligation, and you will not be entitled to choose which assets would be sold. J.P. Morgan wow. reserves the right to sell your securities at any time as deemed necessary by market conditions and other factors. Holy cow. You're giving them the right to sell your stocks, yeah, your we retirement accounts. We have not learned a thing, no. not a thing from 2008. Here's the mortgage company I do want you to go to. Why don't you go to AmericanFinancing.net because they're not playing any games. They are not beholden to any banks. They're not going to get you into any crazy schemes. It's AmericanFinancing.net. They work for you. Call 800 906 2440, 800-906-2440, AmericanFinancing.net. American Financing Corporation, NMLS 182334, www.nmlsconsumeraccess.org. This is the Glenn Beck Program. Announcing Gemma Adams in concert, we'd like to invite you to an awesome dual concert Friday, January the 11th at Christ Church of Marion, 6768 Southwest 80th Street. RSVP is required for dinner, served at 5.15 p.m., and the concert will start promptly at 6.30 p.m. Backwater Bluegrass will open up, followed by hit recording artist Gemma Adams. Jesus loves you, don't matter if you're lost or found, if you're rising, if you're falling. Gemma Adams, singer, songwriter, and musician with two hit songs on three different charts. A large crowd is expected, so make reservations now at 352-861-6182. Every sinner has a future. Every angel has a past. Hey, Ocala, you know the first of the year is the time for the fabulous Camellia Show Spectacular at Bob Wine's Camellia Gardens in Ocala. This year promises to be bigger and better than ever with hundreds of sun and shade loving camellias, dozens of colors, all budded and beginning to burst and bloom. You've got to see this and better yet, join the hundreds of camellia lovers with their very own. Prices start at a modest $9.99 for the smaller number one size, and for the larger ones, you can spend all the way up to $149 or more. Check it out. It's all free each day from 9 to 4 and until 2 on Saturdays. And while you're there, check out Bob's famous dwarf, ever-blooming red ruffle azaleas, still just $3.99. Lemon and lime trees, some with fruit right now for just $19.99. Check us out now, BobWinesCamelliaGardens.net, the same blooming place since 1952. W-O-C-A. Loaded, hauling, dumping, mowing. AgPro will get you equipped for anything with a John Deere 5045E utility tractor. At only $159 per month, you can add the perfect attachment to dig it, plow it, grade it, anything. Request a quote at agproco.com and get equipped for anything. Subject to approved installment credit with John Deere Financial. 20% down payment required. Taxes, freight, setup, and delivery charges could increase monthly payment. See dealer for details. 
Hi, Matt Wilkerson here, your Verizon representative with news that will hum your car, make it smart and safe. How? With a new hum device by Verizon. You can rest assured you're never alone. Flat tire? Lost? Accident? For $10 a month, hum by Verizon has you covered. And I will come to you in Marion County to install the hum for free. Time to call me at 352-528-0020. Are you ready to hum along? Call 352-528-0020. Gene Powell Past Chamoy. Gene and Debbie would like to thank you for another successful year of business and wish everybody health, wealth, and good fortune in 2019. In addition to our Past Chamoy service, we also offer fence row spraying and stump grinding. Now is the perfect time for weed control and to take care of those troublesome stumps. We are family owned and operated, licensed and insured, and farm ready. Howell Gene, G E N E, at yahoo.com. 352 629 2440. Gene Powell Past Chamoy. 352 629 2440. Gene is a proud United States veteran. Ask yourself, what do you pay for health care? Are you single? Do you pay more than $199 a month? Are you a couple? Do you pay more than $249 a month? Do you have a family? Do you pay more than $529 a month? Yes, you can serve the entire family with health care for only $529 a month. Sign up at any time of the year, pick your own doctor and hospital, ask any questions in our live chat box. It takes two minutes to find out how to say, go to lightyourliberty.com. That's lightyourliberty.com. Ocasio Cortez just uh, came out, and uh, she she made some very good points. I mean, if you're on if you're on the Republican side, she made some very good points that everyone should hear. Uh, it's true. Listen to her response to that to that speech last night, and tell me the reason why Republicans talk about her all the time is because they're afraid of her. They 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 talk about her all the time because they are dying to make her the representative of the Democrat Party. Oh, she is. Put her on television over and over and over and over again. Convince America that's who Democrats are. This is the greatest thing that has ever happened to Republicans. If conservatives had Saturday Night Live, she would be oh. known as Sarah Palin today. Times a thousand. Yeah. I mean, she is just... I mean, you know, I'm just using the words that they used about Sarah Palin, a dingbat. Oh. She just is so wrong about yeah. uh, facts, figures, even just a clear line of thinking. Keep giving the attention to uh, Casio Cortez instead of like a Kamala Harris. Please Kamala do. Harris is much scarier to Republicans yeah. than a Casio Cortez. And we're going to play this uh, this uh. response from a Casio Cortez coming up in just a sec because it's just it's just such good eating. <laughs> You're listening to Glenn Beck. Here's something you probably don't know about erectile dysfunction. 52% of guys experience ED. And here's something you probably do know about erectile dysfunction. 0% of guys like talking about it. Fortunately, Roman is here to help. With Roman, you can go online and visit a one-stop shop where U.S. licensed physicians can diagnose ED. We'll then ship medication right from our pharmacy to your door. With Roman, you don't have to spend time in waiting rooms, deal with awkward face-to-face conversations, or make uncomfortable trips to the pharmacy. Just visit GetRoman.com, chat with a doctor, and get real FDA-approved medication delivered in discreet, unmarked packaging. And now that brand name ED meds have gone generic, it's more affordable than ever to get treatment. Start your free online visit at GetRoman.com slash America. Additional terms, conditions, and eligibility requirements apply. Visit GetRoman.com for more details. Gene Powell Are Past Chamoy. Of- Gene and Debbie would like to thank you for another successful year of business and wish everybody health, wealth, and good fortune in 2019. In addition to our Past Chamoy service, we also offer fence row spraying and stump grinding. Now is the perfect time for weed control and to take care of those troublesome stumps. We are family owned and operated, licensed and insured, and farm ready. Howell Gene, G-E-N-E at Yahoo.com. 352-629-2440. Gene Powell Past Chamoy. 352-629-2440. Gene is a proud United States veteran. 
Ask yourself, what do you pay for health care? Are you single? Do you pay more than $199 a month? Are you a couple? Do you pay more than $249 a month? Do you have a family? Do you pay more than $529 a month? Yes, you can serve the entire family with health care for only $529 a month. Sign up at any time of the year, pick your own doctor and hospital, ask any questions in our live chat box. It takes two minutes to find out how to say. Go to lightyourliberty.com. That's lightyourliberty.com. Hey, Ocala, you know the first of the year is the time for the fabulous Camellia Show Spectacular at Bob Wine's Camellia Gardens in Ocala. This year promises to be bigger and better than ever with hundreds of sun and shade loving camellias, dozens of colors, all budded and beginning to burst and bloom. You've got to see this and better yet, join the hundreds of camellia lovers with their very own. Prices start at a modest $9.99 for the smaller number one size, and for the larger ones, you can spend all the way up to $149 or more. Check it out. It's all free each day from 9 to 4 and until 2 on Saturdays. And while you're there, check out Bob's famous dwarf, ever-blooming red ruffle azaleas, still just $3.99. Lemon and lime trees, some with fruit right now for just $19.99. Check us out now, BobWinesCamelliaGardens.net, the same blooming place since 1952. Broadcasting from the Paddock Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. Fox News, I'm Chris Foster. President Trump says he hasn't decided yet to declare a national emergency to fund a southern border wall and end a government shutdown. I think we might work a deal, and if we don't, I may go that route. I, I have the absolute right to do national emergency if I want. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. The president's manufactured crisis reaches into the lives of millions of Americans. It threatens services and benefits they need to stay healthy and secure. The president meets again today with congressional leaders from both parties at the White House after lunch at the Capitol with Senate Republicans. Three days of trade talks in China are over. The U.S. delegation saying the talks looked at ways to achieve fairness and balance in U.S.-China trade relations. They say they'll now report back for guidance on the next steps. The meetings were aimed at building on a truce agreed by President Trump and the Chinese president last month. Fox's Simon Owen. This is Fox News. Never saw it as a problem when I was younger. Two cigarettes, three cigarettes. It wasn't it wasn't a habit. My mom, she was always like, you need to get rid of them. Gave the jewel a real chance and found out I liked it. Found that it really works. The switch was easy. It was a no-brainer, really. This came from her, really. Patrick made the switch December 2016. Make the switch at JUUL.com. Warning, this product contains nicotine. Nicotine is an addictive chemical. At Stiefel, we believe investment advice is about more than helping you manage your wealth. Our investment advice is about you. It's about providing your kids with opportunities for a head start in life, feeling secure in your retirement, and realizing your dreams just may become a reality because you have a plan. We believe in you. Your path to investment advice starts with your Stiefel Financial Advisor. Find your new Stiefel Financial Advisor at Stiefel.com. That's S-T-I-F-E-L. Stiefel Nicholas & Company Incorporated, member SIPC and NYSE. Here is your one-minute news brief. It's official. Ocala will celebrate her 150th birthday on February 4th. Ocala Mayor Kent Gwynn, City Manager John Zobler, and the Ocala City Council have decided that Ocala was officially incorporated on February 4th, 1869. There will be a celebration each month to mark the sesquicentennial year. A Miami police officer has crashed into a storage facility while apparently attempting to avoid another vehicle. The parents of a Florida teenager killed when a Tesla sedan crashed and caught fire last year are suing the electric car company, alleging that the battery pack on its electric Model S is defective. With Florida's new governor taking office, some parents of students killed in the Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School massacre are pushing for Ron DeSantis to remove Broward County Sheriff Scott Israel. An asteroid circling spacecraft has captured a cool photo of Earth from 70 million miles away. We look like a white dot. And Florida's Space Coast has made CNN Travel's list of top places to visit in 2019. And that is your news brief from The Source. 
Partners. Ocala Business Leaders Incorporated is a group of independent local firms providing a wide range of quality goods and services. Each firm strives to maintain the highest level of professional integrity and 100% customer satisfaction. When you're looking for goods and services, call a member of the Ocala Business Leaders and we are confident you will be pleased with the results. If you are interested in becoming a member of the Ocala Business Leaders, join us at the Ocala Elks Lodge, 25th Avenue in Ocala, any Wednesday at 7 a.m. and enjoy a breakfast on us. For more information, check OcalaBusinessLeaders.com. Hey, Ocala, you know the first of the year is the time for the fabulous Camellia Show Spectacular at Bob Wine's Camellia Gardens in Ocala. This year promises to be bigger and better than ever with hundreds of sun and shade loving camellias, dozens of colors, all budded and beginning to burst and bloom. You've got to see this, and better yet, join the hundreds of camellia lovers with their very own. Prices start at a modest $9.99 for the smaller number one size, and for the larger ones, you can spend all the way up to $149 or more. Check it out. It's all free each day from 9 to 4 and until 2 on Saturdays. And while you're there, check out Bob's famous dwarf, ever-blooming red ruffle azaleas, still just $3.99. Lemon and lime trees, some with fruit right now for just $19.99. Check us out now, BobWinesCamelliaGardens.net, the same blooming place since 1952. Palm Garden announces Fast Track. Fast Track, focused assessment, safe transition. When a new guest is admitted to Palm Garden, we start with the ABCs. A is the assessment to determine what the guest needs. B is for basic care, which is excellent nursing and therapy. And C is for consistency to provide what's needed throughout the stay. Fast Track, Palm Garden will get you home fast, really, really fast. Take a fast tour of Palm Garden located at the corner of Southwest 27th Avenue and 34th Street. PPIR is a networking group formed to serve the realtor and small business community. It primarily serves the real estate and construction industry, but is open to all businesses that provide any service or product to the real estate business community. PPIR has no membership dues or fees for attendees. The watchwords are keep it simple and maximize networking time. PPIR chapters meet three times monthly at different locations after normal business hours. For information on this, call 352-615-9412 or go to events at PPIRevents.com. PPIR, professional people in real estate. Tick-tock, the days fly by, and refined tax season is upon us once again. Not to worry, though. With a reputable CPA firm on your side, you can rest assured that all of your needs will be handled in a professional and thorough manner. Robson, Scribner, and Stewart is just that firm. They're there for their clients year-round, not just during tax season, to handle your needs and answer any questions you may encounter. At Robson, Scribner, and Stewart, there is no client too small or too large. Their expertise ranges from the single individual to the largest of corporations. Get your return prepared by a professional who will use their years of experience to ensure that your tax returns outcome will leave you in the best possible position. Call them today at 694-4184. Brendan Lightning. Yeah, uh, this even is the that, Glenn Beck program. Uh, baby, 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 baby. That's there, all, that, folks. That thing ha- that happens every, every hour time. happened to happen this hour <laughs> as well. I know. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to jam so much in today. <laughs> we have already talked to Eric Bowling, uh, who is really a chief political correspondent in Washington, D.C., uh, about what he saw last night, what he is, his vision on inside the White House was. Um, and it, he was fascinating, fascinating, had real great perspective. Uh, We've also had Steve Dace, who talked about how this is going to play in 2020, and I thought that was fascinating as well. We now have, uh, we now have our White House correspondent, more of a more of a guy who is a, uh, a Trump supporter, but he is our White House correspondent. So he'll give us the conservative perspective from the White House point of view. Then Matt Kibbe is going to join us from the libertarian perspective. And the conservative millennial is going to be joining us here in, uh, in just a second as well. Stephen Kent. All of the analysis from the entire spectrum of the conservative movement It begins right now. This is the Glenn Beck Program. (laughs) All right. 
Uh, we have uh, moved around uh, commercials and deleted some commercials so we could spend more time with you in the first half hour of every hour of this uh, broadcast. We only break two times in this half hour, and uh, this is the first one, and it's for one minute, and then we're back into the show. I want to talk to you a little bit about X Chair, our sponsor of making this possible today. X Chair, really comfortable office chair productive office chair, something that, you know, people who uh, have bad backs, they love this because it has this, I don't know what they call it, the dynamic lumbar support or whatever. I should not be spokes, a spokesperson for things because I... It feels good when I sit on it. That's right. That's, I don't that's care what I like. about what they call things and stuff. It's just really comfortable. Uh, and uh, it is the best lumbar support you will you'll ever have. But you don't have to have a back problem to feel that way. And it's got all kinds of adjustments on it. Uh, it, it does absolutely everything that you think a chair could do, except make probably make you a sandwich. Now they also have, uh, the X chair basic, which has all of the support, all the things you need, but it doesn't, it, it's like the one I have is like a flying car. I don't even know what half the stuff does. Uh, I just know it's really comfortable. And the X chair basic is just as comfortable just a lot uh, uh, less expensive. Check them out now. Go to xchairbeck, xchairbeck.com, xchairbeck.com. Use the promo 